Hey guys, Fia back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 13th of March, and we did some uh, uh, dungeons and raids, some, some transmog farming. It was very interesting. Things happened. Lots of things kind of did. It was all over the place. It was fine though. We had a lot of fun, a lot of chit chat. Uh, I hope you enjoy the VOD. Uh, if you would like to catch me live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. If you add slash schedule onto the end of that, uh, you will see when I go live in your time zone. Magic conversion, because if you're anything like me, you are terrible at time zones. Hey, uh, <laughs> Down in the description box below, you can find links to my Twitter, my Instagram, uh, my Facebook page, my, my TikTok. Uh, and I think my Discord. Um, and yeah, it, look, I'm, I'm focusing on my Instagram at the moment. If you wouldn't mind tossing me a follow over there, that would be very much appreciated. It's uh, the kind of the next step I need to be able to go full time. Uh, but until next time, have fun and enjoy the VOD. Hi. Welcome back. It is another day, another stream. Let's kick off with a battle. Make sure you place those units. We always lose. The first battle is stream. We always lose. So more, more units and maybe we win. Place as many as you possibly can. Six. Once every five minutes. Get those units on the battlefield. Doesn't matter what level they are. Just, just do the thing. Place whatever you want to. Maybe we do a win. Alrighty. Guess what I'm on. The Paladin. Yep, that's right. So my lowest... Well, it's it's Sunday. Uh, for those of you who are new around and about, uh, Sundays we transmog hunt. I have a spreadsheet that you can access uh, and also make a copy of and if you want to use it yourself and plug all of your own characters and statistics in um, because we love our spreadsheets. That's why there's an emote for them and it's a follower emote so you don't even have to be subbed to use it. Um, but... It's uh, AT Dart, A T D A R T, and it stands for all the dungeon and raid things. Because we have all the things, of course. Go. There we go. We have all the things. Um, but that's a bit of a large goal. For, like, that's huge. So I've narrowed it down to dungeon and raid things from classic up to and including legion, because that's what we can basically solo. Like, if you're decently geared, you can solo most of legion's stuff. Um, and get the happy brain juice noises. Uh, and according to that spreadsheet, where Jack has given me the most amazing little, uh, 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 formula. There we go. Amazing little formula. Uh, down the bottom left corner, you can see my lowest percentage completion, which character it is, therefore which class it is, and uh, what raid it is. Or dungeon, because it's dungeon and raid things. And it's Legion, and it's Trial of Valor. Although, that is a very different number to what is in the spreadsheet. Uh-oh. I have refreshed it. Am I not actually doing Trial of Valor? Wait, am I on account mode? No. Did I get stuff to drop? I didn't think I got stuff to drop. It says 54, 122. I must have, because my spreadsheet says 34. So we're not, we're not doing that. We're doing Trial of Valor on the Shaman. Okay, good. Still doing Trial of Valor, but not on the Paladin, because I am not a paladin, that is correct. Good. I love when everything actually works. If we wind up doing a dungeon, uh, I will kick off a loot appraiser challenge. Um, I'm not a paladin. Uh, correct. Uh, if we if we wind up with a dungeon, um, we'll do a loot appraiser challenge. They're a little more difficult to do with raids. Um, but uh, a loot appraiser challenge, there's two add-ons. There's loot appraiser and then loot appraiser challenge, and then you need to be on my friends list, which you can get my battle tag by typing exclamation add me, um, and then you can add me, funnily enough, and uh, I will remove somebody <laughs> from my friends list because it's full, and then add you, uh, and 
uh, it sends out a thing, like an invite via the add-on to everyone on my friends list. And then like you can join in and it'll keep track of like who's getting what drops and who's earning the most gold and stuff. It's kind of fun. I like it. It's good fun. Uh, but yes, that is the plan for today. Chill stuff. Chill stuff. Well done, Zam. On first with the Fiyama Pog, because that's new too. Oh, I'm so excited. I love those emotes. They're just so gorgeous. Uh, 69th going to Ali. Well done. Hello, Diz. Welcome on in. Second going to Kay. Uh, third going to Diz. Uh, hello, Shiba. You're feeling cozy by the looks of it. Amazing. Can't wait for a chill stream. Me too, Diz. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm I'm actually quite tired. Um, so that's fun. But that's okay. It's it is what it is. We we deal with it. We deal with it. Um, so let me just check. So Legion, Trial of Valor, 46 out of 122. That's wrong as well. Wonderful. So now it's Trial of Valor for my hunter, which is also gonna be wrong, because if the palette if the shaman's wrong, which is male, the hunter's gonna be wrong too, because it's also male. Great. That's okay. Updating the numbers is good. Um, once we actually have a thing to do and we head off and start farming, I'm gonna, I want to take note today of what the total percentage is so that I, I want to see, like, I want to see if it goes up, like how much it goes up by how many percents we earn today. Cause I like that. It makes me, makes me happy. Hello, Izzy. I'm glad you're feeling cozy. Hello, Venom. Welcome back. Oh, I don't have all that on. on. <sighs> Oops. Uh, yes, definitely not a paladin. Hello, Kay. Thank you for dropping the spreadsheet link, Zam. So I take a break from group farming at 2,009... Oh my god, Kay. 2,976 attempts. I am so sorry. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I hope that when you pick back up, it drops on, like, your third attempt. Your third cast. Hello, Diz. Thank you for dropping the add me link as well, Zam. Much appreciated. Hello, Panda. New jelly, I can do that. And you get the ability to kick someone else from that list. I know, right? I blame chat. Yeah, look, I would too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Evening fair. Hello, Dunno. I'm doing well, thank you. Bit tired, but what the hell is new? Um, how are you today? It was up until 6 a.m. farming. <gasps> I went and took a nap. Oh my god, Kay. I mean, that sucks, but also go you! The persistence! I am, I am impressed. I'm impressed as long as you are taking care of yourself. 46, 122. Okay, so that's definitely wrong. And we're going to the DK. Uh, hello, Jackie. Something going on around making everyone tired. Yes, it's called life. There is, honest to God, there is just so much stuff going on in the world at the moment. I It doesn't surprise me that everyone is exhausted. Like, how are we supposed to cope with everything that's going on? It's just, it's too much. It's entirely too much. Uh, hello, Jack. Welcome back. I'm not doing similar far for funsies. Uh, I do my mythic week my weekly mythics quest. Yeah, I haven't done that either. Um, yeah, that's probably gonna be something I do like Tuesday. We had some house stuff to do today, so I wasn't able to get them done. But maybe Jess and I will go through and bang out some mythic zeros on on Tuesday or something. I don't know. Six hundred and like already get to doing twelve k walks daily. It will take a while. Just be like keep in mind how long it's actually gonna take you to walk twelve kilometers each day. And make sure, like, if you don't have time to do it a particular day, like, treat yourself kindly. Um, because, like, a walk, walking, it takes, like, half an hour to do, like, 3Ks. So, 12Ks is, like, two hours worth of walking every day. So just be, be patient with yourself. And if you have a full-on busy, busy day, give yourself the space to do what you need to do and all that kind of stuff. Um... And keep in mind as well that when you're doing so, like I, I don't do a whole ton of walking. I mean, I do some walking. I try to go for a walk once every couple of days at the very, very minimum. Um, but then when something like PAX hits, 
I have the energy to go all bloody day and I walk 30,000 steps in one bloody day, which is like 1200% of what I usually, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. And the adrenaline and the, not, not even the adrenaline, but just like the excitement of everything that's going on is enough. You don't, you don't need to have been doing marathons every day. Do you know what I mean? Like get going, like do, do your thing and best of luck and all that kind of stuff, but just be kind to yourself. The last thing you want to do is burn yourself out and then not be able to do the walking when it comes time to go on your trip because you've like, you've done too, you know, you've overdone it or whatever, but yeah. Um, I think you will find it'll be a lot easier than you think. A lot easier than you'll think. Um, awesome. Let's try this one as well. I uh, do you need to do my weekly this quest? First time to 15 of the patch. Ah, who'd have guessed it'd be Sanguine Depths? No way. <gasps> Throw me a shot for the mythics. I got like three tunes to do. I'm still in struggle to plug them. Of course. Absolutely. Totally planned out. 135 days every two weeks. I'll be bumping up my route time. Awesome. I love walking. I want to prepare my feet and body for the insane and Disney walking. Every 16 hours of nonstop go. Yeah, I know, I know the feeling. Like getting up at six in the morning for packs and not getting home until midnight. Yep. <laughs> Been there, done that. It's what, 18 hours of on my feet the entire time. Um, yeah. And the next day you get up and you go, oh, my feet are kind of tender. Oh, well, back to packs. And it doesn't matter. You do not give a shit. You just don't care. You don't care. You just go and you do it because you're excited and you're happy to be there. And the pain disappears because you're paying attention to everything else that's going on. You'll be fine. Like, you'll be so fine. Uh, how are you today? Doing well. A bit tired, Crumb, but doing pretty well otherwise. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, where is... Okay, so Sunwell is BC. Uh, what am I at? 12 or 43. Is that actually what I'm sitting on? It's not. It's 24 or 43. Uh, switch to the rogue. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. My previous issue has absolutely murdered me. Do I take the time to prepare myself? Fair. Fair enough. 8.6k overall HPS here. It was painful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, tied to your brain desire to solve the meaning of the universe at 1am this morning. Who needs sleep? Oh, you solved it! Do you, do you have do you have information for us? Because I'd love that. I'm joking, of course. But yeah, I, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I, I'm pretty sure I actually, like, had a decent amount of sleep last night, um, but I'm just, my body's just run down, um, which is fantastic because I have, yeah, it says seven hours and seven minutes of sleep, but I have no score. Why do I have no score? Where's my, where's the app? I don't have a score. Not enough quality sleep data was collected. Yeah, it doesn't have a score, which is really odd. Oh, storm! It's very strange. Um, but apparently I slept a decent amount of time. I just, uh, maybe it wasn't particularly quality. Or maybe I have massive, too, too big a, a sleep debt. That's also a thing. Um, but I am kind of stressing, because uh, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. Um, I'm getting step two for the upper root canal done. So they're taking out the temporary filling and putting in the permanent one, um, which is like, cause they put a temporary filling in so they could put in like uh, treatment stuff. So it's cause they, there was maybe potentially possibly, there was like a shadow on the scan that they thought might maybe be infection. So they wanted to treat it to be safe. So they're taking out the temporary filling and putting in the, t the, the permanent one. 
um, which will mean it's ready for a crown. Uh, but I don't know if I can actually, I don't, I think, because that's the one that the other tooth next to it's too close, so I can't get the crown yet. So I think next step is the, the alignment treatment. But I don't know if I have to wait for the surgery to be done to be able to do that. Like, I just, I, I don't know. So, um, but that's tomorrow morning. Um, and so I am, like, stressed because I don't like it. And then it's a week till surgery, which is always a good feeling. Uh, okay, so Alexia, Sunwell Plateau, 3657. Why are all of these numbers so far off? Oh, I'm still on Alexia though, end time. That was Cataclysm, wasn't it? 414. 714. Back to the DK. Good lord. <laughs> I spent the first hour of stream doing this. Um, LFR Hell is also painful. I can imagine. It's an interesting boss fight. Just like DH tanks. Oh dear. Hello, X. How you going? Stressed. Hello, Dan. Welcome back. But yeah, overall, look, it's it's a time. It's a time. Everything is happening. And I'm like, I just want to sleep, but I can't. I've got entirely too much stuff to do uh, and not enough time to do it. And I don't know that I'm, I have the brain power to be capable of doing it, but I have to get it done anyway. So yay me. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe surgery will be an, a quicker bounce back this time and I can uh, get some stuff done in my days off. Uh, the Blood Furnace for Repressily. 828. 2028. 20, good lord. Okay. Look, I mean, hey, the percentage is a lot higher than I thought it was. That's a good thing, right? All right, when I jump onto this tune, I'm going to update the whole bloody thing. That might help from bouncing around like this. <clears throat> Stop me from doing that. Uh, so this is Lilian. She is a demon hunter. Oh, it's a long weekend where I am. I take the opportunity to make a slow cook apricot chicken. How smells amazing. I wish you could all smell it. I am. I can only imagine. Apricot chicken is such a beautiful smell. Like, it's just awesome. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. I'm sure it will, but I hope it does. Ah, oh, dearie me. So it's meant to be Blood Furnace as the lowest. I have a feeling it's not gonna be. 12, 28. This is 29. Let's refresh that. Excuse me. Still says 28. Why? Oh no, because I'm on the wrong thing. That's why. Blood Furnace. 8, 28. So now it's, yeah, 12. 1228. Cool. So I'm going to update this while I'm here because uh, this is getting to be just a tiny bit ridiculous. Uh, so classic says 339 out of 538, which is wrong. <laughs> um, let's show completed groups just so I get the numbers right. I've gotten extras, 20 for 20, 19 for 24. I don't understand why these numbers keep changing. It does confuse me. Um, 11, 16, 24, 42. 
6, 12, 24, 47, 5, 10, 13, 10, 18, 8, 13, 7, 13. Uh, hello, X. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, VK. Hey, Kim. Welcome back, guys. So, 363, 544. Okay, so that's correct now. BC is 351604, so that's all wrong as well. Good. Oh, where did. Good. I tried to Alt Tab and ended up Alt Zing instead. 35. 156-364-921-1424. 18, 18, 24, 10, 20, 12, 28, 24, 24, 12, 26, 10, 20, 17, 27, 6, 14, and 12, 26, not 10, 26. Cool. So that's BC updated. Uh, Wrath is 1108, 1599, so that's correct. Hatter is 498, 649, so that's well off. This one has dropped by 40. Like, in my spreadsheet I have 689, and in here it says 649. I, I don't understand how these numbers are changing, because nothing... They haven't, they haven't updated any Cataclysm raids. Like, that's just not how that happens. I don't get it. I feel like I should start taking screenshots of stuff, and like, posting it and asking what the hell... 96125 Blackrock Caverns I've got down as 2527 but now it's 2022 like do you know what I mean that's like what what disappeared from Blackrock Caverns end time 510 toll is 1921 falls is 2430 twilight is 611 so these 17 of 17, not 19 of 19. Stone core has gone from 1724 oh, okay to 1421, so at least it's Achoo! lost three from each, each side. Vortex Pinnacle is 1919, not 2222. Throne of the Tides is 1921. This is God. Thank you. I've been sneezing all day. Put my mascara on and then I sneeze and I like I'm like I hate you. Why you do this? I've got mascara everywhere. It's fantastic. Okay, four ninety eight, six thirty nine. What? I'm missing ten somewhere. Seven three sixty six forty six thirty five one seventeen one twenty five twenty two ten twenty one thirty. 11, 17, 21, 19, 21, 13. Oh, that's 34. Okay. That's where I'm missing. Cool. All right, good. Uh, we can add on being updated with some errors. I don't, like, but losing that many, like losing 40 items from the entirety of Cataclysm, I just, I can't imagine it's that wrong. Especially with like how often Creve updates this add-on and catches stuff and is super proactive about stuff. 
I can't see, like, do you know what I mean? That just, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense knowing, like, how proactive the developer is. But, I mean, you could be right, I guess. I just, it's, yeah, it's a little bit odd. It's a little bit odd. Uh, okay, 150... And the fact that I need to like do this almost every single week like update my spreadsheet and stuff just kind of seems yeah I don't know something's a bit wonky and I haven't changed settings or anything like I can I can understand like if I change settings to include stuff or uh, I'd like count stuff out or whatever then sure absolutely but I don't like I leave my settings this alone on per or, or like on purpose no it's uh it's interesting the only thing I've done lately is turn debug mode on and then immediately off again. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. But like, going back to your previous settings should... Should go back to exactly what it was? I don't know. I've lost six from Grimrail. Oh, sorry, lost four. It went from, from ten of ten down to six of six. It's a big jump. Unless it's a change to how things are displayed. Like, because I've got... Um, maybe, like, it's merging a couple of items that have the same appearance or something from the same boss, but that doesn't sound right either because then people use unique mode and... I don't know. It's just... It's really strange. This is... Oh. No, but that's right. Ah. Uh. Okay, so that one's right now, and then Legion is just a little bit off. Not by much, though. Oh, these are going down. That's... Interesting. That one, I, I, like, the total count dropped by three, but how many I actually have stayed the same. Like, it's just a couple of little odd bits. Three, is that 822? 826, perfect. Okay, so Lilian's updated. And now it wants me to go on to the warrior. Oh well! Mm, should appearances being in other categories? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, because it only counts the things that can drop from that particular dungeon or raid. The things that are in under the categories come under other categories, so if they change, if they get reshuffled around, the dungeon and raid should stay the same. The dungeons or raids should stay the same. Um, yeah, it... I'll have to say, so I was um, in Ruins of Ankaraj earlier today, and it said, like, I in my spreadsheet, I'm collecting 44 items on Fear, and I'm at 42. 
And when I opened ATT, it said 29 total. And I'm like, what? So I did a refresh and it jumped back up to 44. Like that's odd. Items have been removed. I doubt it because there are items in there that say this item was never blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And I, Blizzard doesn't do that. They like, they make it really bloody clear when they're going to be removing transmog and stuff. They don't just stealth remove. Um, there'd be, there would have been like a big kind of kick up about it in quite a few of the communities that I am a part of. Yeah, you're tickling me. Okay. Yeah, these numbers are all wrong again. items number ever going down yes yep both numbers have gone up and have gone down sometimes they've gone down by the same amount on both sides sometimes they go up by the same amount on both sides sometimes sometimes it's different sometimes one goes up and one goes down all this kind of yeah it's it's yeah all a bit kind of interesting <sighs> So, like, Molten Core says on my spreadsheet, 35 out of 76. This says 42 out of 79. I can understand if it's gone up because someone, like, one of my other tunes has collected something, but the number of items that actually exists going from 76 to 79... Why? And it's not like it's because it was hidden stuff, because that's seven hidden things, not three. And if I, like, that number just changed to 936 instead of 930 and 928. Clip. <laughs> like, why is it doing that? I've done nothing. I've logged in. I've sat here. All the things is opened. And then I've refreshed it and all the numbers have changed. any seasonal items in MC. It should have them anyway. It should have the seasonal items anyway. Because I have... I've got my settings set so that all the seasonal items are always there. So that I can keep track of when the next event is. Like, you know, your boss, Apothecary Hummel, a heart-shaped box, you, your heartbreak is there. It might be behind the... Um, there you go. your heartbreak is there, even though it's seasonal. So they don't disappear. I've got the setting set so that they don't, so that it doesn't affect numbers like that. Ah, uh, is there only the one wing of LFR open this week? I believe so, yes. An afternoon dupe. Ah, uh, yeah, stream's going well, I think, so far. I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be going because all my uh, ATT numbers are different and changing and annoying. Um. But yeah, it's, uh... It's a bit strange. It's a bit strange. So that now says 936, but on here it says 920. So 16 items have magically grown in classic since I last updated the spreadsheet. You know, like it's something's not something's not right. Like, I can understand the number of collected items changing. Like, if it hasn't properly registered that I've got something and it's gone, oh, crap, there's that there. We should add that to the number. But this is the total number of things that is changing. And that shouldn't, in my opinion, that shouldn't happen. But I've got that change that happened live clipped now, so I think I might send it to Kreef and just be like, hey, what, what do? Why is this happening? Have I broken something? What's going on?
It's not more random things randomly. Exactly! Exactly. Uh. It's just a little bit kind of exhausting when I have to spend an hour of every, you know, every thing stream going through and trying to figure out what's actually the lowest on my list. Uh, yeah, Moo, Naughty, Koala, Dunno, congratulations on all your bonus shits. And I don't really have time to sit down an hour before stream and, and figure it all out, you know? Like... Yeah. How's the day going? Yeah, not too bad. Um, it did some productive things. Um, went and did grocery shopping and things like that, so at least that's done. I still need to do meal prep for the week, but um, I'll have to have a look at doing that stream or something. I don't know. I'm just I'm tired. <laughs> I'll get there. Yeah, I look going on. Thank you. It's a fun one. I had I enjoyed putting this one on today. Uh, so I'm placing two tanks. So let's place a tank. Uh, so 475 is wrong. So I have 710, 39, 76, 510, 39, 12, 32. That's wrong. 28, 48, 35, 72, 35, 63, 12, 24, 21, 47, 36, 56. So that one's gone up by one in each. 20, 45. So that's gone up by two in the collected, but up by three in the, in the total. 15, 37. 15, 27. So both of those have gone up by one. Stay a while and listen. I think that volume's okay. It might be a touch loud. Uh, 15. Oh, no. I'm on the wrong line. 16, 26, 24, 24, 8, 40, 14. 15, 31, 23, 35, 8, 22, 26, 36, so 483, 9, 11, perfect. 13, 90, wrong! <laughs> Good! 52, 148, 173, 391, 28, 74, 570. ICC is ridiculously large. 820, 746. Another hydrate. 2736. 17, 28, 34, and... Okay, cool. It's checked off. Cataclysm. 626. Oh dear. Um... Say <laughs> again. Hydrate. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, all right. Two. This one's only so this one in my spreadsheet it says 1137 and 2024 so it's gone down by two and down like 
And it was both on the world boss. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, this has changed. I just want to farm stuff. Like... This is, like, this is a great idea going through and, like, doing the 12 classes and all that kind of stuff, but this is just... This is ridiculous. Thirty-five, uh, thirty-three off. Something. Uh, I don't think I have. The totals that are out or new rose mounts appearing too. No, no, this is old dungeons and raids dupe. This is classic through Legion. Nothing has changed for those dungeons and raids. Nothing has changed, except ATT. <laughs> I, I. This is why I don't understand it. should not be new rows because the dungeons haven't changed. Okay. All right, that is the warrior done. And the warrior is still the lowest. It is Cathedral of Eternal Night. Yay. <laughs> Yay. It's 8 of 28. 28.57%. Uh, so we are starting... Well, there's no real point in saying what we're starting on is there, because... If I have to switch to another tune and I have to update that one, then it's going to be... Yeah, anyway. Goody. Cathedral. Uh, I have to get some of the right the jellyfish mount in some raids. No, you don't. They're all outdoor zones, and I did that last. Uh, I did that yesterday, and they're all they're all outdoor zones. Uh, any new items we put in an AG for time walking? Is that no. No. Uh, and if there were, it should only affect Legion. Um, I know that they did change a couple of dungeons around, but it's not. I'm um, this this stuff up here is it counts differently to the to the one like when you have the time walking and stuff. It shouldn't be counting time walking appearances separately. Um, it shouldn't be counting time walking appearances up here. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, and it's, it's dungeons that aren't involved and never have been involved in time walking that have, that have been affected as well and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's all, I, I have a clip now showing, like, I logged in and I had ATT and then I didn't change any settings and I hit refresh and all the numbers changed. Not all of them, but a lot of the numbers changed. Like that should not be happening. If you if you're literally sitting there and you have numbers and then and this isn't just Champion. like the number I've collected. It's not like the add-on's gone. Oh crap! She actually has that transmog. I should update that. No, it's the total that changed. The total of collectible items that shouldn't be changing. That number is set. So yeah, it's um something is is not quite right. Is it possible to dump the data from ATT? I have no idea. Potentially. Um, I think that was something that Jack was working on. Way to reset might help. I don't know what you mean by that. As in, like, uninstall and reinstall the add-on. Now, this is, this is, like, the numbers have been changing for months. Like, since I got the add-on, every so often, the total collectible items in an, in an instance will just rent, will change. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to it. An illusion? What are you hiding? Uh, 
Okay. Here we go. So we're in, we're starting with Mythic. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do Mythic on this tune. I'm only level 52. The on the floor. Oh, and there is a zone drop. The the oh, that's right. The zone drops only come from certain places, though. Oh, that should be... Our guests of awesome. have finally arrived. There is nowhere you can flee that I cannot reach you, demon. Illidan! Curse that impetuous demon hunter. Um I'm going to shift click in a moment, yeah. And I do that and the numbers still change. And they don't always change to what I have. Uh, which is Yeah. That's right, um, I might, um, I don't know whether to post in the Discord or, like, to reach out to Kriv, I don't know, it's, uh, I might post in the Discord and see if there's anything Kriv can suggest. So it looks like I can do this, it's just going to take forever because I can't skip any trash because I'm too low level so it's my pool rate aggro is like enormous, my, my pool range is enormous. So this will be good. At least I can only do it twice. Well, actually that's a lie. I have four warriors. Good. Wonderful. <laughs> oh dear. So who else is joining me in Cathedral of Eternal Night to try to get themselves some transmog? Dungeon A says there are five items, and later it says there are 13 items. I need to investigate what is causing the problem. Knowing what rows are added or removed would be helpful. True. True. But um, I think one of the bigger issues is that I don't know which dungeons are going to be affected. Um, and so I, like, um, so I'd have to dump the entire list from all 12 classes. Are we doing a lack? Um, well, considering we can't run this repeatedly, I don't, I don't know, do you want one? It's my lowest two. Oh, Kim. I'm so sorry. Would it though? Would what though? Like, would knowing which rows are added or removed be helpful? It could be. I don't know. Um, I think uh, these items shouldn't be. Sh no, they shouldn't be. But what I think what Dupe is saying is, if it's an add-on issue, like if there's a bug with the add-on, maybe knowing which rows are being added or removed would be helpful information to have, so that I could go to Creve and go, hey, by the way, this particular row is disappearing and reappearing. Uh, and it shouldn't be. Um, like, but I, I feel like that's, um... If, if Kreev looks at what I've shown them and says, uh, what the hell, that shouldn't be happening, I imagine that they're going to be able to give me some instructions on how to get some log files for them. So that they can look through it and figure out what the hell's going on with their, with their, um, project. I would imagine I could be wrong. But that's kind of what I'm thinking would probably happen. But only one way to find out, and that is to reach out to Kreev, show them the clip, and say, Hey, I feel like this shouldn't be happening. Please help. Mm, today, very well, thank you, Cows. A bit tired, but, you know, what's new? 
um, and we've got a bit of an issue happening with ATT and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm a little... Li Whoa. Oh gosh, that, that could have been very bad. Um, so I'm a little bit frustrated by that, but um, there's nothing I can do except reach out to the developer and tell them. And so that's what I'm going to do. Yes, there's a whole bunch, dude. We added, uh, we added, I think, what, six yesterday during stream? Have a click through and have a look. They're quite cute, not gonna lie. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna think they're gonna reply with, yeah, it's Blizzard's Collections API, not refreshing, right? Happens sometimes, yeah. Yeah, but the total number of collected items, like collectible items. I guess that's not hard. That's not going to be hard coded in, is it? Because that's going to be too much to, um, like, it's going to take too long. Of course, it'll just pull from the API. <clears throat> yeah, look, I mean, hey, that it might be. It might be, hey, I can't do anything about it. Soz, but tough. Um, but it might not be the answer. That might not be what come, what, what Creep comes back with. So, um, I might as well ask anyway, right? If they don't know, they can't fix it, firstly. Yeah, worth asking, exactly. If it's, if it's, no, if that's not the issue, there could be a solution. Maybe my settings are wonky. Maybe I've chosen a particular setup of settings that is confusing the add-on or something. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but I will be happy to provide whatever uh, whatever Creep needs to figure out what the hell I've done wrong. <clears throat> Did you tick the box that randomizes results? What? What box that randomizes results? Are you... is that a... are you making it funny? Oh, we're making a joke. Okay, yeah. No, that's, um... Because there is a... There is ATT random as a... As a function. Um, but all it does is just pull out a random thing from a category you've chosen. And tells you to go get it kind of thing. To help you pick, you know. Help fight analysis paralysis. Um, but... Yeah, that's not gonna... That's, that's not... Uh, what's happening here. I'm trying to remember... Where the where the named mobs are that drop the zone drops. I don't think they're on this level. I think I have to keep going. Because I think they're just named mobs and I think there's only two or three of them in the instance. Illidan left behind a mess. Stay close. Just take the unbroke the add-on? Yeah. Obviously. Demons. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, what is that? Oh, I'm showing you the route within the dungeon. Ah, that's Zygor. That's Zygor. It does a lot more than just, um, leveling guides. A lot more. Very welcome. Thank you very much, Duke, for dropping the link for us. Much appreciated. Right, so... Do we want to do predictions for these beans that I have left over from yesterday? Or do you want me to just eat them? And either be happy or suffer? Gonna run you dummies over! Come here and fight! <laughs> That was the last item I needed from that boss. That's and it's an upgrade. Are you kidding? That's hilarious. I guess I'm, I wasn't wearing a um uh heirlooms on this tune. Just eat them. All right, not all at once because that'll be gross. Um, but I can definitely start. Let's 
but they kick. Jump trick Lego. One nostril is just totally screwed up today. You know when you know when it's like one of them, like one sinus is just itchy on the inside? Yep. So I'm now at 10 of 28. Because that counted as the item, because it shares the appearance with the heroic version. God damn it. My next lowest one is also Cathedral, just on a different class. <laughs> Get this one to make you sit there and let it soak in before you figure out the flavor. I know, right, dude? <laughs> They're the worst ones, hey? Some of them you bite into and you instantaneously know that you've made a mistake. As much as I hate them, I like them better than, uh, yep. sparkles at all. Oh no, wait, there we go. Did you really think you could elude me, Illidan? Run again and I'll shackle you like the beast you are. Posture if you must, my Ev. But for now, do you see what you do best and follow me. than snot. Correct. I agree. Wait, why is Legion Cage still there? I opened it and emptied it. We've lost. The Legion broke our lines. They pushed us out of the tomb. You're all that stands between them and the Aegis. They are coming. Let them come. My Ev and I will hold them on the stairs. <clears throat> At least this means I don't have to do it on, um, I don't have to go through all four of my warriors. I can switch after this one. When you have three different transmogs you could give me. Domatrax, can you just give me one of them? I'd be really appreciative. Dead fish. My axe hungers for flesh. This world will be long to the leech. Twelve of twenty eight. <clears throat> Uh, makes the terrible bean a little easier to deal with. Hello, Lucky. How I you will doing? hold the skies. See to the ages. Alone at last. Run egg. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Fuck. Indeed. Oh dear. Ah. Oh. Dog food. Yeah. 
Really? Double artifact relics? Buggy you. This shield defended the young world soul against madness and corruption. Bugger you. Today, it serves those who fight for Azeroth. Alright. Back we go. I am Aegrim, guardian of Tirisfall. I left behind this echo of my power as a safeguard in the event that the war... Fresh twice to get every item found. Fresh twice. Failed. Indeed, I sense that the master of the burning legion oh, okay. now Noted. schemes to claim his prize. I'm switching tunes, so I'm gonna refresh twice. Let's see how we go. <clears throat> Curious. Are your numbers, like for your Hunter, Shaman, Pally, etc., I know that they'll they'll be slightly different, especially for the earlier, um, like classic and stuff because of professions, but how different are the numbers that you've got compared to the numbers that I've got when you've got like class specific? Because they shouldn't, they should only be off by a little bit because of recipes and things. <clears throat> there just seems to be similar. Okay. There are a couple, like that one cathedral has a technique in it. Um Alright. Freshing. That's gone up by over a hundred. Brushing again. And that's stayed the same. It's the third time, just to be safe. And it's staying the same. All right. Okay. So classic is wrong. Twenty-eight, <clears throat> 1643, not 42. Uh, 1536 is totally wrong. That's 1441. Uh, 2378 is actually 2480. 817. Wait, what are we? 41782? Nope, still off. Uh, 2459, 2846, 3350, 5, 16. Okay, that's, that's got a good reason for being off. Because I ran that on a, I think, my DK. 1117, 33, uh, 13, 22, 8, 11, 13, 18, 23, uh, 13, 22, 8, 11, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21. Good evening, Stang. Welcome back. I've never seen a refresh go down. Okay. Okay. I think I have... Yeah, I've got the refresh. 1673. Okay. 1673. Uh, BC is 380 wrong. Okay. Just expand this. <clears throat> Seven thirty one sixty five five ten three eight ten twenty nine fourteen twenty seven. 6, 31, 59, 30, 49, 9, 19, 15, 39, 28, 48, 12, 33, they went up differently. Uh, 15, 33, 11, 23, they both went up by 1, 9, 26. Items went up by 1, collector didn't. 12, 20, 22, 30, 20, 28, 12, 29, 11, 23, 19, 29, 6, 16, and 20, 28. 392, 753. Now accurate. Wrath. Wrong. 
Um, prefers let's, let's ignore the stuff I'm dumping in the alternate Oh yeah, yeah, go for it. Have fun, enjoy yourself. <laughs> if it's not fun, don't. Um, you do you like the the new the the spreadsheet emote, Jack? Uh, <laughs> I figured you of, of most people would uh, would potentially appreciate. Uh, 28, 37, 15, 23, 29, 260. Yes, all oh, the love for the spreadsheets. 666, 271, 877, 820. Good, you can watch this while I do numbers. Uh, <laughs> 25, 32, 31, 41, 42, 33, 41, 43, 21, 29, 22, 25, 40, 36, 16, 36, 37, 43, 149. 2227. Cool. Hatter is wrong. Uh, good. Dean21, okay. Sixty-eight, nine, forty. Done. Mists. Mists has gone down. Mists has gone down for this one. Um, so if you have a look in, actually I can't show you in game because you're watching this. That's okay. More units. Mine are showing you solid numbers, not divided numbers like yours. Say ten out of twenty-nine. When mine says ten, then the percentage. Yes. So that's in your settings. Um, I've got it set to show the total number as well as my completed amount. That's that's just a display setting that you yourself can change. It's got nothing to do with the actual data. It's just not showing you how many total items were available. That's all. Um, but yeah, uh, Jack Mist has gone down. So here's an example of something going down for you. Give me just a minute. Um, let's start this up and then I'll show ya. Tunk! All right, so here we go. Mr. Pendaria says in game 1008 out of 1849. Uh, in my spreadsheet, it says 1020 out of 1846. So um, the the total number has gone down by three. Ah, uh, sorry, the total number has gone up by three, but the collected number has gone down by 12. <laughs> So I don't, I'm not sure what's happened there, but there's there's an example. Um, and for world bosses, um, in my spreadsheet it's 169 for 269. In the game it's 169 for 267. So that one has gone down by two. Which means other ones have gone up by quite a bit more, uh, which is great. Um, that's That's gone up. That's gone up by a lot, by eight. Mogashan Vaults has gone up by eight items. <laughs> Um, Heart of Fear has gone up by two collected, up by eight, uh, total. Lord. Something somewhere has gone down by a lot. That's gone up by two collected and up by eight total. Throne of Thunder has gone up by one collected. Uh, total is the same. Siege of Orgrimmar has gone down by four collected. And it's gone down by two total. Gate of the Setting Sun has gone down by two collected and gone down by two total. Uh, Mogishan Palace has gone down by two collected and down by two total. Scarlet Halls has stays the same collected, but it's gone down by two total. Scarlet Monastery is down by two collected, down by two total. Shadowpan has gone down by two collected, down by two total. Siege, down by two collected, down by two total. Stormstout, 
down by shoot collected, down by shoot total, and temple of Jade Serpent has gone down by three collected and three total. 1,008, 49. There you go. That was a weird one. Pure items to collect in Scarlet Hall. Sounds like a good thing. Look, I'm not going to complain. Uh, but no, I, the, the problem is it's the data's changing, but the data shouldn't be changing. I'm, I'm not complaining that there are fewer things to collect. I'm complaining that the data was wrong. It's either wrong now or it was wrong before. That shouldn't be a thing. That stuff shouldn't be changing. Yeah. Uh, it, look, it is what it is. Um, and we're doing our best to figure it out. Um, so this has changed as the whale. One... Three oh nine, so that's gone down by three. That's gone down by Hellfire Citadel's gone down by ten collected. Uh, it's also gone down by ten total. It's really odd though. That shouldn't it shouldn't be happening. Grimrail Depot just went down by four in both categories. I have 86 now. This one got the bar. Some of my um, totals formula wrong but once I update those there they're at I have 881 91 there we go cool. dungeons have shared appearances between themselves right I think so it would make sense I don't there's not I don't think they have um so warlords drowner are the one that has like 200 items that can drop in any of the dungeons Mop doesn't have that, but I do think that they have some crossover in terms of actual appearances, but the items themselves are different. I think you're right. Maladar nor Murmur is giving me the items. Can you yell at them, please? Absolutely. Maladar and Murmur, listen. What are you doing? You know you've got those items. You don't need them. You don't. You can't wear that gear. You can't. And the weapons are too tiny for you, Murmur. Like, what are you doing? Just, just let Zem have them, please. Like, for God's sake. Do the, do the right thing. Do the right thing here. Just, just, just stop this. This nonsense. Do the thing. How's that, Sam? <laughs> uh, tell me if they drop it next round, because that'd be hilarious. Uh, 24, 3, 2, 2, 4, 1, 22, 102, 13, Four, 36, 48, 12, 28. Yeah. Because I got the drops on the, the warrior, it changed there as well. That's a good thing. Like we, that's that's an okay change when the number goes up because I've actually collected stuff. That is a wanted change in data. Um, 6, 43, 7, 7. Oh, that's because I got the, yep, good. Okay, cool. So Legion should be 742, 1641. Perfect. Uh, we are switching to Shaman. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Still can't find the setting to change it. Ah, oh, give me a second. Once I log in, I'll have a squiz for you a little and let's see what we can find, shall we? I know it's there somewhere because I know I went through and set everything up just how I wanted it in terms of appearance wise. Uh, I should get one to my desk at work. Spreadsheet emotes. Wait, get a spreadsheet emote for your desk at work. Would it not be hilarious to get a magnet made out of the spreadsheet emote? Because I, the, the reason I think it's hilarious is because, like, I know so many people who have, like, people who have their, their tower on the, the desk, which is totally fine because, you know, less, like, more airflow and less dusty and all that kind of stuff. I get that. But I know so many people in like professional environments who have their tower on their desk and they use it as like a magnet board because it's a metal case. And I'm like.
Anyway. No, 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 no. It's fine, Panda. It's fine. Look, we all we all have Trixies sometimes. We just can't quite, like, you know, where we're skimming, we're skimming, we're skimming, and we miss it seven times. Like, it's totally okay. Everyone does it. Definitely not a quality of a noob. It's a quality of a human. So it changed once. Didn't change that time. Just about fridge at work. Good. No, correct. <laughs> correct. It's running bot for a tailoring pattern every Saturday since BC was Oh <gasps> Dan, oh my gosh. I was uh I was running um Encourage, both of them, for Formula Enchant Gloves Shadow Power. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna run it on some of my alts to get because there's a BOE wand that I'm trying to cross off the list for Fia, right? It's like the last item she needs apart from this formula. And I'm running it and I'm running it and running it on my fucking druid, the goddamn enchant drops. And I'm like. It's Bob, for those of you who don't know. I'm like. Oh, looking through it after refresh, Legion Turtles are different for every dungeon for me. God! That might be patterns. All every single one of my tunes from uh, who's after Melissa. Everyone from Lillian onwards has tailoring and inscription, but prior to that, they've all got different um, thingamajigs. Second root, but I know, right? I know. Right. Okay. So interface. Uh, that's tooltips. Source locations. No, I don't want that. Locations. None of that. Not, none, none of that. Um. Things. List. Beha list behavior. List behavior. Um. So you have enable this option if you want only visible ATT windows to be updated. Expand current difficulty. Warn completed difficulty. Show colors. Show nested quest chains. Sort by progress. Show remaining things and show percentage completion. That none of those are. We don't want uh, the only reason I have show. I've got show completed groups up so that I can see the numbers for this, so that I can my totals match properly. Um, expansion things. Precision level to two. I like two decimal places in my percentages. Uh, um, mostly because I, I think it's because I'm an accountant, like an assistant accountant. I do everything with dollars and cents, so everything's two decimal places. It just, I don't know, it's some it's a comfort thing. It's it's good amount of precision, but not like ridiculous amount. Like, yeah, anyway. The number goes up faster. I see it move more often, but it's not really, really long. Um This is tracking everything. We don't want we don't want that. Um what collected things. Nope. Huh, okay. That's really interesting. Um, I could have sworn... Oh, show remaining things. Untick it. And it tells you how many you have out of how many how many total there are. Yes. There you go. Brilliant. All right, cool. Awesome. Yay. We figured it out. I mean, you figured it out. And then I figured it out and announced it like it was some brilliant new discovery. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see you. Anyway, um, good. So, you're... Oh, shh. I forgot. Oh, no, you've got... Hang on. Can you expand and contract things, Jack? I don't know if you can, but if if you can't, I'm so sorry. I just kicked you out of that. Um, let me let me let me just do this. You can do. It. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if you if you need to work on stuff, just like by all means, go for it. Um, or if you want to play around with things. Uh, so classics wrong. Of course it is. <clears throat> Six, 
21 of 44. 13 of 38. So ruins just went down one. 8, 75, 18, okay, so 425, 7, 88, that's now correct. What is it actually, you know what, bugger this, I'm sick of doing numbers, let's, where does it tell me to go, Legion, Cathedral, let's just update Legion, um, 33, 36, Cool. So that's now correct. So let us go and do Cathedral because it's still the lowest, which I knew it would be. Um, it is kind of still a little bit sad because Cathedral sort of sucks. Uh, let's see if we can even do... Oh, but I got the zone drop! That's good. Um... Let's see if we can do... Um, Mythic. <clears throat> It, but yeah, who we need to talk about getting out as a magnet? Uh, give me a second. Let me see if I don't know if um, spring does magnets, which sucks because they should, right? Like, it's absolutely a thing that I would get. I would get a whole goddamn set of all of my emotes and stick them on the fridge. My water bottle at work. Uh, not just crafting patterns on that have water collect on dungeons when they have no patterns. That's really interesting. Um, if you want me to open up any of these as a, a separate window so you can like take a screenshot and have a read, please let me know. I'm more than happy to give you whatever data you want or need. Like, I want to help you. Champion. Mages of the Tirus Guard need your help to purge the spider broods from the <clears throat> creeping grotto. Spring is trying to get me to make NFTs, and I'm like, you with a no. Burning edge. Um, they definitely they have stickers. Canvas print, wall tapestry, mugs, glasses, pillows, blankets, beach towel, shower curtain, hats, phone cases, sticker, die cut sticker, uh, bags, socks, yoga mat. Does not look like they do magnets. But they do do stickers. So theoretically what you could do is we could do stickers for each of the emotes and then you could take the one you wanted and apply it to like, you know when you get those sheets of like printable um, magnet sheet and then like cut around it yourself. I know you shouldn't have to DIY your own bloody merch um, but that is one thing that you could do, I guess. 
the Yas. Um, so what kind of person thinks to work? All money is two. Measurements tend to be three. Yes, teamwork, synchronicity. Yep, can do. The final item need. Yes, organized crypts. A hundred percent. Well done, Zam. I'm so happy for you. Bloody group. Don't be like pugging mythics right now. Fair. Did you get the group eventually? I did. Yes. Uh, but Kay is still working on it. Our forces have engaged the Legion on the ground floor. We must place the Aegis in the So I don't need to do the trash if I don't, if I can. Oh. Wait, is this on Mythic? Oh, it's on Heroic. Damn it. It's fine, I'll just do the Heroic run. <laughs> there is nowhere you can flee that I cannot reach you, demon. Illidan! Curse that impetuous demon hunter. Uh, how many casts does it take? Yep, 16, 12. Me. Uh, is there a clip? Ah, uh, yes, I believe there is. Uh, I think it should probably be in the clips channel. I think someone said that they had clipped it and posted it there. Um, so hopefully that's where it is. Hello, Mikey. Good way to start the day with the stream. I'm so pleased to hear. Happy Sunday to you. Hope you're having a lovely morning so far. Eight hours and 15 minutes. Yep. It was uh, a <laughs> two thirds of yesterday's stream. Two thirds of yesterday's marathon stream was spent fishing up a pile of goop. Uh, you reuse goop, or do you have to go collect it again multiple times? You gotta collect it again. But you don't need to technically, because um, when you fish up the goop and you do the thing and you go get the other bits and pieces and you get the Oralid lure, when you fish up Hiracon, it's guaranteed to drop them out. Obviously, there are some Transmog and things that Hiracon also drops. Um, but you can just hang out in the location and wait for other people to fish them up. And you're eligible for the Transmog from somebody else's lure. <clears throat> I would de definitely recommend, if you're a collector, if you're a completionist, I would definitely recommend trying to get all of the transmog from Hiracon prior to the next patch slash expansion because ain't nobody coming back to fish up that bloody beast because it takes so much effort to make him spawn. Um, so if you are someone who has the ability to like AFK camp, highly recommend. And you can kill him more than once a day. Follow. I'm not sure if Transmog will drop on like second, third, fourth kills or whatever, but I know that the Oralid Lattice, which is used for crafting a couple of the pets, uh, is able to drop on your second or third or whatever kill. Um, so this is still worth farming a little. It is, yeah. If you've already got the mount, it's definitely still worth farming it, but it can take a long time. The the official, like the, the technical drop rate of it is one in 1,333 but your experience may vary. It took me 16, 12, like 1,612 casts to get the group to drop. Um, there was someone in here yesterday who was saying it took them 10,000 casts. Another person, another part of the community said that they, it took them 4,000 casts, but then we also have people who said it took them 22. So it, it really is highly variable. Um, I would definitely recommend if you've already got the mount, AFKing it and relying on other people spawning the boss um, while you still can. Server hopping, rare farming groups, yeah, see if any of them are willing, waiting there. 2,997 attempts so far. Oh, God, okay. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> Act on heroic. There's so many things I still need to drop from this instance. Excuse. Which is why I'm doing it, because it's my lowest percentage. Woo!
Enjoy your luckness. Alright, three items you can drop for me, Agronox. Let's do this. on the plate on the warrior. Pretty sure the warrior had mail drop as well. Oh, at least we're getting you losing paper. There's a bit of my Zilla soul catches for sure. For sure. What are Elysian Thades even used for these days? Is it for like the feasts or something? Illidan left behind a mess. Stay close. We shall Blame. carve a path through these demons. Alright. Next boss. Two items. Thrash bite. Give me just one of them. Or plate. <laughs> At least I actually have that one already. <sighs> so many times I've run an entire cathedral and not had a single drop. So many times. Two bosses to go. We're okay, we're okay. Oh, I should have some beans, eh? Oh, uh-uh. Stink bug. Delicious. Right, maybe this one will be nice. Juicy pear. Dump truck. Mm. The pear bean is a clamor palate cleanser. Like, nope, add more stink to it. Yep. Yep. Again, and I'll shackle you like the beast you are. Posture if you must, my Eb. But for now, do what you do best and follow me. Mm, it has a new update for WoW. Uh, patch 9.2, really good. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's the last you're welcome. The Legion I have to do a few of some interesting <laughs> You're all that stands between them and the Aegis. They are coming! Kill Jaden shows gratitude <laughs> for delivering the Aegis into our hands. Oh dear. Your flesh will burn! <laughs> oh. Off. Fiends, tear down that shield. This world will be long. Really? 
more plate. Three bosses, three pieces of plate. <clears throat> I will hold the skies. See to the ages. Banag, yeah. Surrender the shield, and I will grant you a quick death. I know I was supposed there to do there we go. Left to run, you could demon. understand the power of the fighting. What is this? Will be. At least it wasn't plate. A relic and leather. Not a single drop I can use from that run. Right, let's give it a try. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> Think you're a paladin? No, I was did a warrior last. Thank you very much. Actually, be able to do mythic. Ugh. I'm not a paladin. Uh. <laughs> Maybe the bot's laggy a little. No. But it is now. It is indeed. Our forces have engaged the legion on the ground floor. We must place the Aegis in the tower before our losses grow insurmountable. If you are, our guests of honor have finally arrived. I look forward to ripping those horns from your skull, betrayer. Okay, Fade, V, and Fairy, congratulations on your bonus shit. You can flee Which one also, Colander? Correct. You, demon. Wonderful. Illidan! Curse that impetuous demon hunter! Same time as this one? Yeah, actually. Yeah, probably. The, the bot can only really do one thing at a time. Uh, right, place two tanks is complete, so let me turn uh, that one in. Uh -oh. Range units. So, what was Manticore were the slightly ranged ones, right? I believe the Ascended Phoenix aren't the range is one. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, so Manticore, what's strong against Manticore? Paladin, of course. Wonderful. 
they get a couple ranged kills with that. Okay. Nope. Other way. Uh, so this is on Mythic now in the hopes of getting drops. And if I don't, I'm going to have to uh, do it on... Um, on another shaman. Rotate through the shamans until I find one that will actually get something to drop. At least I have the zone drop. Too, uh, not too badly at all, Diz. Um, nothing is dropping for my shaman, which is a little bit annoying. Cathedral is one of those uh, frustrating dungeons where it's only heroic and mythic difficulty, so I can't just run it endlessly until something I need drops. I've only got two attempts per character, um, so I have to like it has to it has to go. Um, but I do have four minimum of each class, so that's helpful. Plus it is it is a shaman, so it's male. Most of this is male. So male, male, male. That's a cloak, so it could drop on anything. Male, 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 cloak, male, technique, and male. So what that means is that if I run all four of my shamans, so eight runs total, heroic and mythic on every tune that I have, I can then jump onto my hunters and do the same. So 16 runs total, and nothing dropping in those entire 16 runs would just be heartbreaking. Like, the, the, the chances of nothing dropping out of those entire is very, very low. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are no weapons that drop in Cathedral, so it's really easy, like, to see, like, th this is all of the, the male wearers, this is all of the, you know what I mean? So that's good. Hmm. And it's the dump truck beans. Yeah, look, I've had a few of them so far. So like, though, thank you, Diz. Thank you. Look, sometimes it feels good if nothing drops for a little bit because then you get something and it's a little more exciting because you've been waiting for it. But I would very much like to get more things dropping. So the longer it takes for something to drop, uh, the longer it is before I can start working on the next thing, you know? But we'll see. We'll see, I have, I have faith and confidence. <clears throat> Here we go. Boss number one of the dungeon. Uh, looking into it, but yeah, of course. Not a worry. If you've got any questions about anything, feel free to ask. We're, we're happy to help with some answers. I have to kill it before it kills me. Oh, I think I'm winning. Relic. This is a bloody relic. <clears throat> I wish they retroactively separated relics onto their own loot table, like they have with conduits for Shadowlands. I really do. But I, I know they won't. Like, that's just that's too much effort. Uh, for content that isn't run that often. But, um, oh god, it sucks to get a bloody relic. My line between excitement and frustration. When trying to get drops, absolutely such a fine line, isn't it, Kay? How did you get the list to show up separately? I uh, opened it in a mini list, so uh, I believe it's just a right click. Yeah. Mm <clears throat> So you can right click on any category in the main window. Uh, you can also type in slash ATT mini and it'll show up with a with the list that's dynamic. So what I mean by dynamic is that anytime you change zones, 
or dungeons or whatever, it'll change to show you whatever zone you're in currently. Whatever dungeon you're in, whatever raid you're in, whatever outdoor zone you're in, will show up in the slash ATT mini window. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I strongly recommend having a read through the, the stuff in the actual, like, see. Um, like, if you have, go and have a read through this and read through the features and stuff, there's a lot that ATT can do. Please do go through and have a read of it because it's super, super useful. Super useful. You welcome, Diz and Panda. Not a worry. <clears throat> Little fools want to outsmart the Legion? Think again. Come and get it. Come in, in general, of course. Of course, Sam. Why is there a Kappa? That makes me sad. That is apparently a, a bloody upgrade. Oh my god. <laughs> Neck piece. Two bosses down, two to go. Or I have to switch to another shaman. But it's a Fiamma Kappa. It is. It is a Fiamma Kappa. I'm so glad you like it. So glad you like it. Random bit of rave here because you're wearing white and consume a solid amount of barbecue sauce. I know, right? I'm so rave. And now that you've said that, you know what's going to happen. Hi, Fia. Hello, Dory. Did you recover a little bit after you see? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still, I'm tired, but that's just as likely to be sleep debt than it is anything else. Um, but yeah, did well. I mean, I guess it helps that we literally spent two thirds of the bloody stream fishing. <laughs> we shall see. We shall. We shall. I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight. Food, probably. But we did the grocery shopping and we did a 100% completely AIP shop. Well, act, that's a lie. Um, all my food is entirely AIP. Some of Jas's food is not. Um, but look, we're seeing, well, we're going to see how that works this week. Uh, week after, my, my eating is going to be a total mess because I'm going to be eating soup. Because uh, it'll be surgery time. But uh, we'll, we will... See. Did you really think you could elude me, Illidan? If you're enjoying it as well, I am. I am. I'll you like the beast you are. She's adorable. Posture if you must, She's my elf. But for now, do what you do best and follow me. <clears throat> okay, come on. Lost. The Legion broke our come on, Domatrax. Give me something. You're all that Don't make me use another shaman. Ages. They are coming. Let the Jadence and Love it. For delivering the angels into our hands. Your flesh will burn. Fiends, tear down that shield. This world will belong to the Legion. Shiba, absolutely. Shiba has done some phenomenal work. Shiba's work always rocks, so just saying. 
To be bluntly honest, if it didn't rock, I wouldn't keep commissioning him. So, <laughs> so you know. I will hold the skies, see to the ages. Hello, at last. Surrender the shield, and I will. I'm gonna have to do the death. ages thing in the middle for this one, I think. <clears throat> Mythic difficulty, so technically this should be more difficult. But apparently not. A relic and a ring. Are you joking? Alright, next shaman. Today it serves those who fight for Oh no. Oh well. Oh dear. Alright. Nope. I think that was stink bug. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't hang around to find out. Which of the matrix or just me? Uh, I have twenty dropped frames, but I don't know when they've happened in the past two hours. What? What happened that you thought was a glitch? Just now, so it looks weird. Camera glitched and no sound. It might have also been me kind of going because eh, it was a stink bug. Then you ate the dump truck. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's do this. You know, one day, all 12 classes are gonna be 100% complete with Cathedral of Eternal Night. I'm going to be very excited for that day. I haven't been ticking off rehydrates because that was Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's like Soda Stream Pepsi. Um, so now that that glass is empty, um, I can. Here's my bottle. You have Grandpa internet GG for a split second. I hope not, because I kind of need my internet to do both my jobs. It's sort of concerning when I don't get access to good shit. <clears throat> case I've had like seven. Um. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. 
Also, I just realized I had a redemption for the mount and I didn't do it because I'm a numpty. I'm so sorry. Um, there we go. Another once I hike, Once I mount up again, it'll be the, the jellyfish. Give me a second. I was so distracted by the numbers not being right that I forgot to actually do the mount thingy. Uh, so there you go. Flying jelly. I do, it does frustrate me that when you change direction it stops the, 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 the motion and resets it. It does make me a little bit sad, uh, but that's okay. Let's start with heroic first and just see how I go. Um, jeez. It's so pretty, it is so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Auto export from ATT's working purchasing. Oh, okay. How do I do it? <laughs> what do you want me to what do I need to plug in where? <clears throat> Our forces have engaged Teach me. The on the ground floor. Oh we must place the ages in the tower awesome one. I'm trying to think of a word to use and I'm like, these are all weird. <laughs> oh, <our guests> <laughs> really don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. I look forward to ripping those horns from your skull. Uh, but one day you will, Kay. I have I believe in you. I have faith. Okay. Alright. Curse that impetuous demon hunter. I'm coming for you. Senpai is the word you're looking for. Yeah, but there are some, there are some slightly uncomfortable connotations with that word sometimes. Uh, look at the 12C test sheet, grabbing this stuff from test test sheet. Okay, cool. Let's me off, I'll have it out of spite, if not, yes! Stubbornness for the win! How do you think I have any of my mounts? Stubbornness. Sometimes just silly luck, but mostly stubbornness. So I'm safe here. If I look at the 12C test sheet. Yeah, bank grade maths, good. That is a formula. Good. This is this is beyond formulae. This is this is you are this is programming. This is just flat float programming. Wrong today! Hey, okay, congratulations! It's grabbing stuff from the test data sheet, and that is pulling from the, uh, from your add-on, yeah? <clears throat> Senpai. Uh, so how, how does your add-on, like, pull data out of the game files and stick it in a Google sheet? Like, magic is a perfectly acceptable answer here, but I, like, how, how does that even... Like, it pulls local data and throws it into an internet space. Like, I, I don't understand how that works. Oh, copy paste from the add-on. Okay, gotcha. So there'd be a button and it'd say copied and then I'd click on a cell and then click paste, uh, hit control V and it'd just dump a ton of data in. That makes far more sense rather than it doing it automatically. Ninjutsu is the answer if they are to be called. <laughs> gotcha. It's ninjutsu. That is still pretty freaking awesome. I am I am in awe of what some people can do. Like, is that is that like, it, does everyone kind of have that sensation when like you you see someone you you want to make something easier or more functional or whatever, and someone comes along and does it with this. Incredible, like, no, there is no other way to say it other than just incredible talent or skill or, or something like that. And they're just like, this is what I do. Like, this is, this is my, this is my skill. But because you have exactly zero knowledge on their entire skill set, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it, I do, I do not program. 
the, the closest I've ever come to programming has been trying to do some HTML coding on my bloody MySpace page. Um, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? That is the, or, or my, my, um, Neopets profile page is the closest I've ever come to doing anything even half related to, to programming. It's just been basic bitch HTML coding. Um, and even that was like two decades ago and I do not remember a thing. Um, so seeing people be able to do this kind of stuff, even though it may just be an everyday occurrence for them, because it's just so mind blowing to me. I, it's, it's amazing. Such talent. So cool. Blizzard do not allow automatic stuff like that because it allow a lot of cheaty stuff. Fair. Fair. Totally understandable. And I, I don't want to go breaking any rules. Um... I mean, I know that they allow API queries, obviously, but that's just getting information. It's not like actually interacting with it and, and putting it into an add-on and doing, do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's perfect. I'm more than happy to click a button and paste stuff into a spreadsheet. Good Lord. It's a hell of a lot more better than what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> like miles better than what I'm doing at the moment. Maybe there, maybe you do cheaty stuff. I do not do cheaty stuff, and I don't think Jack does either. I think we're all too afraid to like lose our accounts, honestly. My space new pet's really dating yourself, there, Grandma. Hey, you know I'm thirty bloody two. I loved Neopets. Loved. I said all the time at work. Uh, I can help you transport an excavator from Arnold Queensland to Europe, Dubai, etc. But programming is black magic, right? Ex that's exactly it, right? I can do payroll, I can calculate all sorts of stuff according to, to different payroll laws and all this kind of stuff, and I can all the math things and stuff like that, and but it just programming is is an entirely different language that I do not speak. In fact, there are several languages from what I've been told. Uh, love it. Yes, Neopets. Yes, Neopets is amazing. I mean, heck, exchange rates. Fuck me up on the daily. Yep. Yep. I just, I just, like, Google, you know, X amount USD to AUD, and that's close enough. <laughs> I get an estimate. So I just swept on me. Yeah, Neopets is terrible now. Utterly terrible. Um... Every single game on the website is sponsored. Is is some like version, some version of uh, Flash-based Candy Crush that is sponsored by a sugary cereal from the US. Um, they've got a, a paid currency, like a premium currency, and I think they also have like a premium subscription thing as well. Like it's just, it's all about the money. And I understand that you need money to keep servers alive. I get it. I totally understand that. But, good lord. Good lord. It's a library when using Netscape browser, yup. I used to do the computer lab. Computer labs at school. I don't remember what the browser was, but... Absolutely. Still running. Um, it was. I don't know if it's been taken down since I last checked kind of thing. But um, last time I looked, it was just everything was an advertisement. Everything. They had panel ads left, right, and center. Every activity you could do was sponsored by some kind of children's based, like children's company. Um, it was, yeah, just, it was really sad. Really sad to see. I still remember playing um, Pyramid, like the card game, the, the Pyramid card game, and then and going like, oh no, I made the wrong decision. And then I'm like, wait, every single one of these moves that I do is a new web page. Maybe if I hit the back button. So I hit the back button and tried to do a different one, and it took me straight back. It's like, no, that's not how this works. And I'm like, ah, leather. No, I just go to my accounts manager and say, can you look at this job and make some exchange rates? I want to bill it out in currency. Okay, thanks. Yep. Yep, that works. We had Netscape at school. 
a large chat with the snake style game or the tank or the tank style. I love the, the particularly the card the card based games. Um, they were my they were my absolute favorite. And go to the soup kitchen to feed all your pets so they didn't die. And then one day go into the soup kitchen and the the neopet in charge was like, you have too many coins to feed your pets here, and I was like. Oh wow, I've earned too many too many coins. And so I'd went and like bought up some expensive stuff and then went back and fed all my pets and then sold the expensive stuff. <laughs> yep. Oh lord. Soup kitchen, yep. And the and the big special events they had that were like the WoW secrets and the community would work together, like the secret finding Discord, of course. Discord existed, um, and the whole community, like you know, digging up that there was a there was like a Halloween event where you had to dig the right grave and find the clues and then change the URLs and go and do this stuff and and like you'd wait until people had figured it out, but there was still like a month for everyone to claim their prizes, and then you'd go and find a write up of step by step how to do it and then knock it out in two hours. Yep. The memories. Yep. MSN Messenger. Yes. MSN Messenger. Where your display name was always your favorite song lyric in the the like the letters and then like with the the symbols on the sides and stuff and you change your font to something entirely unreadable and yeah I messaged you, Mrs. Quake and Quake install on the PC. They use the ghost image. Nice. Me, Happy time Why zone to you, I'll Lion. Shackle you like the beast you are. Posture if you must. Mother. Oh dear. But for now, so do many what you do best and follow me. And and when you nudged people on MSN and it'd do that like the little Hulu kind of noise and it'd like shake the thing and make the, the make it flash orange on the on the um the uh, taskbar and stuff. Coming. Glad you're old too. Come. My oh. Sometimes it's scary. Like acknowledging how old I am, because I know that we only have like a finite amount of time, and I'm I'm really scared of not being able to do things. I'm I'm, I'm afraid of having regrets. Like I wish I had managed to be able to do this, or I wish I had done that, or whatever. Um, but I'm also so glad for all of the experiences I've had, even the bad ones. Oh, thank God. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Um, but I am, I'm like, I wouldn't trade the experiences I've had for anything, um, even the bad ones, because like they've made me who I am, and I, I kind of like who I am. <laughs> there are some parts of me I'm not too happy with, but I'm, I'm actively working on changing those, and you know, with, with therapy and all that kind of stuff as well. It's work through those bits and pieces and confront those bits of yourself that you don't like. Um, I will hold the skies. But yeah, the it's uh, I, I wouldn't trade my experiences for anything. I remember they blocked MSN Messenger at school. We found a workaround that had it work in a browser within the browser. Lovely. Good. My god, did you guys ever have uh, the the TI calculators, the Texas Instruments calculators, uh, with the, the graphic ones, the graphic calculators with the screens you could draw graphs and stuff on, hence graphic calculators. But you could install games on them by connecting it to the computer and downloading a piece of code. That's the first question. Did you have those? And my next question is regarding a specific game. That is two clicks. Things ATT made list open Oh, that's okay. That's the... I'm... Two clicks is a hell of a lot better than what I've been doing. Hell of a lot better. All right, I am not doing another run on this. This shield defended the young world soul against madness. Ah, so we're gonna do this today. It serves those who fight. Um, so you could say you've got no regrets or no regrets. Also, yeah. Feel bad not talking too much on chat. Really enjoy listening to you. Working. I'm a work maniac. I don't. No, no, that's fine. Fine. Don't ever feel bad for lurking. Like we love our lurkers. As long as you're enjoying yourself, that is what is important. Please don't feel bad. It's totally okay. Or at least what I know of you. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Hey, like none of us really truly know each other. Um. 
Oh, that's an interesting... Apparently I'm going on my hunter to Razorfin Downs. <laughs> Was not anticipating to see that, but that's okay. Um... Uh, oh, I see why. Okay, cool. I'll update these numbers. I'm sure they're probably wrong. Um, but yeah, none of us really, like, know, know each other. But I think we know enough about each other to get along. And I think that's, that's what matters. Go to mostly kind of, sort of, a little. Good, good. Oh my god, yes. TI-83, let go! Didn't have one because I wasn't doing that kind of mathy science thing I'd made of mine did. Still got mine with all the games. I played Doom on mine. I did not play Doom on mine. Uh, wait, is RFD Frog, dun frog Dungeon? Uh, n No? I don't remember. Let's find out. Cool balls and undead stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Death, Fade, Mick, and V, congratulations on your bonus shit. Um, so the question I have about your TI calculators, did you have duck racing? Uh, ooh, I have completed a quest. Uh, greetings from America. Hello, rights. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Welcome on in. Or is it Reets? I feel like it might be Reets. It's ringing a bell. So you would you would have there were ducks, and the the there were just bars that kind of went across the screen, and they would race, and you would like place bets on which one you thought would win, and then you press go, and it would just like randomly calculate who would like. You would get there fastest. Yep. Games. Rice is correct. Perfect. Thank you so much for letting me know. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so the paladin didn't get any ranged kills. The harpies only have a range of one, so they're not ranged. Range two for the Scorpio. Six for the centaur. Okay, so what is strong against the centaur? Paladin, but I can't place that. Centurion. All right, let's place a centurion then. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Let us do this. No pictures. It seems to be getting it in one for me. Like, if I refresh it once, it's accurate. But I'm uncertain if that's the truth. Okay, 38, 66, 32, 34, 32, 35, 13, 38, 9, 3958, 517, 1031, 20, 79, 414. So we are going to RFD. 1633, 1013, 1626, 1737, 1738, 588, 1223, 11, 29, 10, 16, and 12, 24. Perfect. We're going to do a lack. We're going to do a lack. Start heading for RFD. When I get there, I'll set it up and send out the invites. Uh, let us see. So, my name is German, but right is correct. If you're wondering what I am, the name came about. So, my last name came to me I graduated high school. Oh, there you go. Super cool. Story, like, stories behind usernames are super interesting, aren't they? Well, welcome on in, right? Loot appraiser challenge. Love to join you, but goop, I understand. Totally okay. Why is it telling me to go Caverns of Time? Is this really the shortest flight point? Oh my gosh. Still, yeah. Kay is, uh, like, at 
3k plus now. So I did 69, 70 casts. 31.55, my golly gosh. Alright, there we go. We've got a few minutes to get to RFD. Uh, I'll meet y'all there. We don't need to be in a group or anything. You don't even need to be in uh, North America slash Oceanic. You can be anywhere, any region. You just have to be on my friends list. 90.64. Oh, no. Oof. Rough. Uh, we're not going to do 60. We're going to do 30. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, we'll get something to drop by then. There you go. Oh, there are quests to get stuff in here. No wonder. Oh, and the zone drops. Good lord. At least some of them have like multiple places they can drop and stuff. Maybe I might even in the half an hour polish this off and make it 100%. Wouldn't that be nice? Um. Fantastic. Yeah, it has been. It has been. Having people on your friends list. I know, right? I have. Imagine, imagine, imagine your friends list being full. It's ridiculous. Welcome on in, Zim. I hope you're doing absolutely wonderfully today. Hi, uh, no open invitations. What? But, oh, am I? Hang on. Maybe this has to be. Do I have to do that? I did, yes, good, there you go. Right, I have to go at the side. Okay. I'm parked where I need to be. Check your bags. Check your bags. So I gotta hurt with that. Look, stream of life. Everyone adds you just because they're like, hey, I'm on your friends list. It's great. <laughs> but also so that we can interact and, and do in-game stuff easier and things like that. So, um, yeah, there are a lot of people on my friends list that haven't been by in literally years because I've been streaming for six years now. Um, and so every so often I do a clean out. Anyone who's been offline for more than a month uh, gets removed nice and easy. Yeah, I know. I didn't really like I knew I was offline. But I didn't realize you had to appear online for it to work. Now I do. Am I going to remember that? Absolutely not. This is always full rub it in. No, it's streamer life. Streamer life. It's not. People want me for the. People want to be on my friends list for like the. Um, I'd actually, I don't know. It's like not even bragging rights because who the hell am I? Like, <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Be Amos. Oh, ugh. Updated. Version 0.3.3. Grab ATT info directly. Uh, amazing. Let me double check. Let me have a look. Mm -hmm. Check updates. Hey, there we go. Released at just now. Amazing. Phenomenal. Because you're an influencer. I know, right? Redonkulous. Again, the next time you do, absolutely it will. You are correct. You are correct. Uh, how do we join the lack? I have downloaded the add-on. Uh, so you need to un you need to open it. 
so if you jump into your add-on, no, not into your add-ons, God, I'm a numpty, into your interface and then you check on your add-ons, Ludapraise, you open it up and it's challenge, you will see in your invitations, it has sent to you, I'm assuming that you are Kimba Slice Kayla Straz, uh, because Kim and Kim, that's how I'm guessing with that. Uh, so if you open up this, you'll have like open invitations, you'll be able to hit um, go and it'll pop you into the accepted invitations area. You can be any any region, any faction, you can still join in. Um, it's one of the reasons. There you go! Hey! Woo! Fantastic. Look at that. All right, I'm going to just hit that button one more time in case people are updating stuff. It hasn't sent out any more. Um, cool. You're very welcome, Kim. All right. Uh, if there's nobody in chat who is still logging in and stuff, speak now or forever hold your peace. Keeping in mind that you can join the challenge at any time. So I think you just jump into here and if there's a current challenge running, you can like request to join and I can very easily just accept it. So if you want to join us like halfway through or whatever, you are very welcome to do so. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zone in. And then we're going to do a ready check and then we're going to go. Toasted marshmallow. Interesting that this is the Undercity music. <laughs> Waiting on Kim to respond to the ready check. I presume it's in the same place, not too sure. Ah, okay, cool. Mm. All right, we're going to start the challenge, and Ali, whenever you're ready, just jump in and request to join, and I will happily approve. Let's go. Heroes, I require your aid. Is this one? It's multi-shot. It's not okay. I'm going to put that on my... <clears throat> Best of luck. My settings are a little bit different to some lacs that are used. Um, so you're not gonna see like incredibly high scores and things like that. Um, I prefer to know like realistically what I might be getting. <laughs> so my settings are just a bit different. Lord Sam. <laughs> Fine then, be that way. Mm, so be there soon. Of course, we'll see you shortly. Oh, I have to hit the gong, don't I? You are not ah! prepared. Mariti, hello. Welcome on in. How was your stream? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. If you haven't been here before, I am Fia. It is lovely to meet you. Um, I am mostly a World of Warcraft streamer with a little bit of variety tossed in. And on Sundays, we wear pink. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we <laughs> on, on Sundays, we farm transmog. Uh, and occasionally, if it's a, an amenable dungeon, we will do a Ludapraiser challenge that anyone can join, regardless ooh, regardless of what faction you are, regardless of what region you play in, anyone who plays WoW is able to join these Ludapraiser challenges. So if you'd like to join us, all you need to do is have the add-ons installed. That's Ludapraiser and Ludapraiser challenge, two separate add-ons. And add me to your friends list uh, by typing exclamation add me in chat, grabbing my battle tag and, and doing the thing. And uh... Yeah. So but yeah. So uh, we're we're doing pretty okay today. So far, so good. Got a couple of drops, not too many, but it's fine. I'll manage. 
Okay, what's for dinner tonight? And does it involve barbecue sauce? It always involves barbecue sauce because barbecue sauce is life. Um, but I'm actually not sure what's for dinner. Um, because we did the groceries today, we have a few different um, selections of animal to cook. So it'll be whatever Jas feels like making. I believe this is the right place. Yep, I'm going the right way. Good. Um, Zam so getting lucky already. Zam got a ton of drops. Like a ton of drops. Um, he's got jokes today. All the jokes. How goes it? Very well, thank you. A little bit tired after yesterday's marathon stream. Uh, but like, I mean, what's new? I'm always tired anyway, so that's fine. I'll just deal with it. <laughs> But is life correct? Yeah, obviously there'll also be a bubble tea. Hey! Glutton's cleaver crossed off the list. like the shortcut to the exit. I love that the older dungeons have shortcuts. Just saying. I've experienced it this dungeon many times in Lax. Yeah, look, I am I'm very new to doing Loot Appraiser challenges and stuff, so. But I think you knew that. Maybe that's why you wanted to participate with me in particular. So you could trounce me. And I'm also not like um I'm also not optimizing it with like a druid and blah blah blah. I'm actually predominantly here to get transmog to cross things off ATT, but I might as well do a lack while I'm here, you know? Include some some members of the community, have a bit of fun. Let the power of the red dragon flight mend your wound. Let the power of the red dragon flight men. Let me confer with my sources. No. Ah, oh, right, that's not like a permanent thing that sits up anymore. Isn't there is there still like an aura that the hunters can use to make him run faster? Or is that old and it's now that cooldown? It's been a while. Cadgar has any barbecue sauce? Well, Cadgar should have barbecue sauce. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to uh, make my own AIP barbecue sauce, I think. Uh, for those of you who are new here, AIP stands for autoimmune protocol. Uh, I have an autoimmune condition and it's a diet that's designed to help manage autoimmune symptoms. Um, and it does help. Um, I got Excalibur! Woo! Phenomenal. Can I turn in my quest, please? I am listening. God's sake. Have done Move it. faster. I will take the phylactery into safekeeping. Aminar will no longer control the Kilbor nor threaten Kalimdor. There we go. Alright, cool. So quests are done. <clears throat> we drop oh wait, I dropped off the wrong side, didn't I? God damn it. Oh, I'm so good at this. Eight of fourteen now. I've got four appearances that run. Because there's a quest, it kind of helps. Um uh, this message is highlighted. It is fairy, you are correct. Uh, I know there is the tiger skill, but that's temp yeah. That's okay. So just taking the other town, trouncing you as you would say. Is that is that a like a Where is trouncing from? Like what what region is is trouncing a thing from? Can I join the LAC? LAC? Yes, absolutely. All you need to do is jump into your interface in your add-ons. Um and there should be on the first page like active LACs on your friend list. So if you if you've added me, then I'll be on your friends list and I should come up in that list of of bits there. 
Um, several instances. Yes. Oh, there's a button for that in here, isn't there? It's okay. How's my bags looking? Totally fine. Um, the dictionary. Let's say mostly English usage. So like UK. Yeah. 50 yeah. 50s. To double, yeah, afflict, yeah, harass, yeah. later to beat, to thrash. 1560s. Uncertain origin. Perhaps related to French tronce to cut calf a piece from. From tronce. Piece of timber. Old French trunk. See trunk. Amazing. Amazing. See? Dictionary. Sports region. Yeah, because I it like I know I knew I would have picked it up from somewhere, but like I'm like, is it is it something I've picked up from like Australian school and stuff, or is it from dad? Um, but a lot of the like a lot of Englishisms became Australianisms as well, because you know, we're an English colony. Um So yeah, it's uh kind of fun trying to place where things come from. And that would also explain why Americans, for example, don't hear it particularly often. If it's like an if it's an English or an Australian thing. I don't actually need any transmog from Arix, so that's fine. But I do from Sari. Where is Sari? Oh, it doesn't spawn it. It was trackable as a green dot on the minimap. You can click his body to start the encounter. Oh. Right, so that's a rare spawn. Good! Exactly what I needed. I like that noise. That's a happy noise. Oh, look, two chests. Uh, sent from request. Awesome. Oh, and another. Uh, crap. Give me. Find someone who I need to. Yep. Good. My list is full. My list is full. There we go. I have added you. You should be able to see my invite on the like the front page of your uh, lack add-on. Sorry for the delay. My apologies. Um, those who come to the talents probably best noted. Hi. I have fallen before. I'm gonna hit the bubba. I'm sorry, Kay. I'm sorry if he's got the foot on the subway for a comfortable leaning thing going on right now. I do. I do. Oh, you're right. Oh, I took over from. I took. I, I got in front of Zam for just like half a second there. <clears throat> what I need is one of my three zone drops to drop. Lose. That'd be nice. I can't see the invite bleed off because it's got notified when you came online. So no input invitations. Okay, give me a second. Uh oh, I can't. That's odd. You should Oh, maybe it's on the actual friends list. Maybe you might need to like open up the thing and right click and like join. Oh, there you go. Yes, look, loot appraiser challenge. Send request for invite. It's not on- I'm so sorry. It's been so long since I've done this. Find me on your friends list, right click me, and send invite. Uh, send request for invite. To, specifically, not to join group, specifically uh, down the very bottom for the loot appraiser challenge. I am so sorry. Uh, and I should get a ping for that. I mean, this kind of- I know, right? I know, Sam. Like, what the hell? Together we oh, there you go. Invitation accepted from- there you go. So that's how you're doing. So you, you send me that and it automatically adds you to the challenge. I don't even have to like 
And there you go, another one. Perfect! Yay! Okay. <gasps> Holy cow. Suck on that, Zam. <laughs> Good luck. I am, I definitely am a competitive person. Like I'm okay. I used to be a really sore loser, like really, really sore loser. And that was something that I kind of worked on as I matured and grew up and became a bloody adult. Um, but as a kid, God, I was so jealous and so like, oh my God. Um, but it still gives me a bit of a thrill to like, no to win. Can hold back the power <laughs> but I promise it's all in good fun. If I oh, right click, add it a waypoint. Okay, so up there, noted. I have to keep an eye out for them. Come on, Zam, you can still beat me. 15 minutes is plenty of time. Oh, and what Sari drops can also drop from Blackthorn. Cool. That's fine then. Brilliant. Right, death chill armor. Gimme. Hey! There we go! Doing well. 9 of 14. So I got one. One more to, to that one. We have done it. I will take Six to fight. Of course, Panda. No rush. No, I mean, there is a timer ticking down, but that's okay. Just ignore that. Just get here when you can and have fun. <clears throat> so I've got all the zone drops left, which are hella expensive. Ah, half a million for Bone Slasher. Good lord. Uh, and then I've got the Ball Champion belts. So I don't want to purchase BOEs unless every single class is 100% for all the bops. Then I will consider purchasing the BOEs if they're not ridiculous how my bags yeah they're okay I can do another run or two heroes I require your aid yeah I will just not like I've done your quests so shh. So often I go to the age by the 20 cheapest mugs pet. Yep. Love that. And I do love that the can I mog it thing puts the little crosses on the uh, like on the auction house UI as well. So you can see at a glance whether or not you have something. You don't have to mouse over every bloody thing. Please keeps delaying it. Oh no. Oh, sounds like they must be busy. Sometimes that's a good sign. If they're if they're busy, it means they're good, right? Don't give loot. I need to stop doing that. At 7.45. Oh. Look, if you've got your order in, they should be staying back to finish it. They shouldn't just be giving you your money back and saying, sorry, closed now. Like, 
that's not that's not on. Oh god, Zam, you're bloody catching me. What is this? I'm getting like no green, so. These don't drop anything either. Your bone I have fallen before. <clears throat> Ah! Oh, yep, there you go. Zam has topped me. Again. Good I see, I told you you could do it. I guess I think you have money back, man. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. That, like, I've never been anywhere where, like, they've taken on order and then given the money back because closing time has happened. Like, it's, yeah. That'd be pretty bad business practice. Oh, nice. Which is, ah, and I have green from the boss. Cool. Closing time. It does sound delicious. What did you order? What did you order? Like, like, battered flake and chips? Or like, where's, what's your, what's your go-to? Ooh, yum. Sounds good. Yum, yum, indeed. Who's in front now? Uh, kill you fast! Jesus Christ! 51k! Why is one of those letters capitalized? That's so strange. That is a super weirdly named item. Shit, assault stone. Yeah. But like, why is it leg chains? Like, both capitalized but one word. That's super weird. But congrats. Big grats on that one. They'll sell for a pretty penny, unless you equip it, of course. Mick, Dan, Dunno, Ali, Fairy, Death, and Koala. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Token chest. Make sure you place your units. Still need to kill more ranged units. Alright, let's try the flying rogue and see if that does anything. There you go. Saltstone leg chains. 51k. Straight to the top of the leaderboard. Lord. Amina will you are too late. Amina is reborn. Oh, didn't get the belt. My We have done it. I will take the phylactery into safekeeping. Aminar will no longer control the Quillbore, nor threaten Kalimdor. Scoot, I reckon I've got time for another run. It should be good not to empty my bags, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just in case. See things that would scare you shellless. Sure. Heroes, I require your aid.
Oh! Look, it's another salt stone thingy, but not the legs, though. Not as... Oh, that one's locked. Not as valuable. I assume we're not even get it before the place closes. So that means it'd have to be takeaway, right? Or, like, what's... That's on them, though, you know? Like... If it's not quite closing time, but they've got too many orders in the kitchen, can't handle it, that's when they need to close the, the front desk kind of thing and say, look, we, we're sorry, we have to close early, we've got too many orders. That's, um, yeah, means I'll just have to do takeout. Unless you're already doing takeaway. Yeah, well, I mean, like, they, what are they supposed to do? Like, they just, they have to bring out orders in the order that they were ordered, and when they're, when they're done, you know, all that kind of stuff. But obviously they're a bit more popular tonight than they anticipated and they've taken too many orders on or something. Or maybe halfway through the shift one of their cooks has had to go home because they're unwell or someone has had an emergency in the family or something like that. You can't control that kind of stuff. I know it sucks but you gotta have some patience because it's just, especially with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, everyone's stressed, everyone's gonna be like giving them hell and all that kind of stuff. It's, yeah. Menu log's delivering. That's when you call menu log. Like, hey, there we go. That might be a menu log fault, not a restaurant fault as well. There's always a chance of that happening too. Ah, cupboard, of course. Oh gosh, that smells good. Ordered at seven. Uh, so it's just before seven here, so I'm guessing that it's now eight for you. Soon, Honestly, our takeout dine. usually takes an hour when we order here. I have fallen um, but yeah, like if it if the if it keeps being pushed back, you can always call menu log or use their um like chat thing in their app. I'm assuming they'll have a chat thing. Most of them do. Um, just keep in mind that one of the options that they will probably give you is do you want to just cancel it and get a refund? Like, yeah. Um, you can also call the restaurant to make, like, call the restaurant directly to make sure that they actually got the menu log order. Might have been a breakdown in communication somewhere along the line as well. There's so many things that can go wrong when you're using third party stuff, hey? Million and one issues could have happened at menu log, million and one issues could have happened with the restaurant. Oh, but yeah, all I need now on my hunter is zone drops, which is good, but also not good because those things are rare as hen's teeth. So, so yay? Question mark. Uh, I just did the order. Is there? It's been sitting there, and the driver hasn't come to get it yet. In that case, yeah, get in contact with menu log. Together we can put a stop to Death Speaker Blackthorn's plans. We must be quick. Though Whether that's via their chat complete. or calling or whatever, get in contact with menu log and say, hey, this like what's going on. Let them let menu log know that you've called the restaurant and that the order is complete and awaiting collection. And that you don't want a refund, you just want your order. <clears throat> no darkness can hold back the powers of the life binder. Ooh. Okay. Goodness, Kill, you're getting incredibly lucky today. Well done. Well done. No darkness can hold back the powers of the life finder. I'm done. 
I'm not going to be able to get another run in in a minute 30. Uh, so that is me. Done. I'm pretty happy with that though. From 4 out of 14 to 11 out of 14. Got everything off the list except for the zone drops. Where is it? On the mobs. You just gotta keep killing more and more. I wonder what's next on the list. I'm gonna head outside and clear my bags and then we'll see, um, see what's next. So 11 of 14. Damn, from 28% up to 78%. Not bad. Oh, of course it's bloody cathedral. You know what? We're going to do a lack for cathedral. It might actually force me to do more than one run. And it is on the hunter as well, so I can just fly over there. I don't have to switch tunes and stuff. Come back with some better stories. Not everything in the ocean is as good-looking or nice-mannered as I am. Ah! Oh, and the blue buoy. Oh my goodness. Oh, two of them! Gosh, Kel, you're getting really lucky today. <gasps> it's steak. Thank you. Do I need a kniffy? Ah, thank you. And you had hidden it stealthily. Well done. Your okay. steak weighs about 100 grams. Oh, cool. No, I, I, yeah, no, I, <laughs> so I need it. I'm going to start actually logging my food in my Fitbit app properly just to see, like, if I'm eating enough. Because, um, like, thank you. You know, if I'm trying to be healthy, of course I need to not eat too much, but I also need to eat enough. Um, so I want to kind of just get a rough idea of how close I am to my daily requirements and stuff. Mm, feel free. Okay. Mm-hmm. Barbecue sauce for to win. So Killia Fast is no longer invited to loot appraiser challenges. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That is ridiculous luck. Well done. Like I'm tempted to ask if you're hacking. <laughs> like, that is ridiculously good luck. Well done. Well done. I know you're not. I, like, don't, don't, yeah, don't feel the need to answer that. Um, <laughs> I'm just, like, that's, that's incredible. That is super awesome. Um, why are these soulbound items not, um, not selling? Come back with some better stories. Food and drink that I am absolutely not going to use for anything. Not and I've got a piece that I can equip. Nice mannered, as I am. So I'm going to do Greetings, that. And, and then, are we all still here? I don't think we are, but that's okay. I'm. Where's my Katie? <clears throat> Great outfit. Thank you. Ooh. Ah, right, that's something I sent before, but it requires 60, so I'll drop it down there. Um So we have what's this plate? So I can send that to Dersey. Leather, leather, plate, cloth, cloth. And I have some leather, I'll send to so it's leather, leather, cloth, that's cloth as well. Oh crap, um, I just sent her the lockboxes as well. Do the what now? Lockboxes! Nice. <gasps> bubble tea! Thank you, strawberry bubble tea with pearls. Delicious. Understandable. I will. I always do. And then we'll send to fear. 
cloth and then everything else. Okay, uh, so we are, I believe we're heading to Cathedral, uh, but I just want to update my Legion numbers before we do that, just to make sure that I am actually heading to Cathedral, because I don't think we are, just now that I've remembered, because of Hero is drop, singular drop. Um... Teresa, it's just what you buy the way. Screen where you click start. Oh, the launcher, amazing. What headphones are you using? These ones are Logitech G733s, uh, and they're in the shade lilac. Hmm. Steak is not over here in the UK. Look, steak for breakfast is perfectly acceptable. But no, it's um at 7 p.m. here in Brisbane. Mm. One. These are all right. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're doing Volta Barkabon. Sorry. Um, oh, does anyone know uh, which faction owns uh, VOA at the moment? Uh, it's uh, Winter Grasp. You have a good day now. I will. I will. All numbers of people for oh wow. Holy cow. My desk is sit stand. Yes. Indeed. Might have screwed up the trend as you Most people have ace three anyway. Oh no, that's okay. That's okay. Quick click bubble bubble. Hundred K in thirty minutes is not bad either. No, it is not. No, it is not. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Absolutely okay. Hmm. I have to do some redemptions. Um, questions for chat or fear, I guess. How long does the Armies of Legion 4 questline take from scratch, roughly? I don't remember. I don't remember. Why are you- are you doing it for the, um, class mounts? Because that is- I don't think that's needed anymore. Not the whole thing, at least. You need to do a little bit of it, but not the whole thing. As long as you've done it on one tune, like one main has done it, then everyone else is fine, I, th I think. Battery last on those headphones. Uh, quite a while, actually. Um, I I use them a lot, and I think I end up getting. Gosh, uh, when I've forgotten to charge them, they've lasted like four or five streams, and my streams are six hours a pop. So like a while. Um, obviously it'll depend on your usage. Uh, having the LEDs turned on on the front, the pretty lights, um, do drain the battery faster. You know, light on takes more power than light off. That makes sense. Um, you can also use them while plugged in. So if they do start dying, um, the, the LEDs like glow red, which is kind of funky. Uh, and you can plug them in and keep using them. I know there are some headsets out there that if they're plugged in, you can't, like if they're charging, you can't use them. These ones are not so. Uh, and they do also have a, uh, detachable mic that sits in there, like so. Um, but I have a studio mic, so I use that instead. Uh, it is a Blue Microphones, World of Warcraft Edition Yeti X. Mm. Also highly depend on spec. Mm. Class map, well up. Only have to do it on your main. Um, once you've done it on the main and got the achievement, it counts account wide. Ah, uh, so one's in blue lasts me so long. We have another lack. Um, well, okay, so my next one is is Shaman for um Vault of Archivon. So it's a raid with like two pieces of trash. So I don't think it's lack appropriate unless you guys want me to do it anyway. And we'll have a very low scoring affair.
Hmm. Cable type of the G3 435s. Um, they both use the same one. And it's the rounded, like, the, the one that looks like this. It's just round, like, the curves on the insides. Um, I don't know what it's called. Uh, but yeah. But it'll say in the specifications online. If you Google them and you have a look at the website, it'll absolutely tell you, like, the actual name of them. I just, I'm bad at that stuff, so. Haha! <laughs> USB-C, there you go. But yeah, they use the same one as, uh, like, both headsets use the same connector. Hmm! Snowball mic. Good stuff. But not the game sound. Mm. Yeah, um, it depends on what streaming software you're using, uh, but they're two different channels, like microphone and like desktop audio, two different channels. Uh, see, there you go, sweet. Most of my stuff uses Type C these days. Fantastic. OBS, what do you use? OBS Studio. Um, yeah. Uh, right, okay. So this is... VOA is Wrath. Let's refresh that. I think my streamers on here use OBS. Mm. Yeah, there are a few that were using, like, Streamlabs streaming software and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, although I think quite a few of them have dropped that. Um, there are, there are quite a few out there though now. There's, I think Twitch actually has their own program as well, which I've heard is pretty good. Not as, um, like obviously it's a much newer program than the other, so it doesn't have as much like development behind it and all that kind of thing, but, uh, I've heard it's not bad. Oh, good. Did I refresh too hard? I think I refreshed too hard. Have you played as Death Knight? Uh, K-N-I-G-H-T. Um, but yes, I've got one, at least one of every, in fact, I've got at least four of every class. I've got 50 tunes. Um, yeah. Mm, I'm stuck. All good. All good. That's way fantastic. Good to hear it. Uh, 50 characters. I've got the maximum number that you can have on an account, which is 50, 5, 0. Um, and I keep up because there are only four mount chances, transmog hunting, etc. I don't, like, keep them all, like, top level gear. In fact, most of them are level 50, not level 60. Um, so, yeah, that's how. I'm a collector, completionist. It's good fun. Why, uh, why are you fighting with the driver? Fight with Menulog. Fight with, like, the, the actual company. They're the ones who have to, like... They're the ones who should be, uh... Telling you what's what. Fifty one six seventy one. Golden. Ooh, actually. Bugger. Oh, what just... While I'm here, let's check on Fear just to see actually. Matt character today? No, apparently not. Not. Was it Matt makeup today? Nobody has guessed, so I'm not telling. It's been three hours and no one has even tried to guess my Matt makeup today. Surprised. Person. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Thinking of names is hard. A lot of mine I've used the random generator. A lot of people don't realize, but the random generator, like the name generator for characters, generates different names based on what race the character is. So like if it's a human versus a night elf versus a blood elf versus a troll, they'll all get different name generations. It's really cool. <clears throat> Are you getting DC'd as well, Jas? 
Or is it just me? I'm wondering if maybe I've just updated an add-on. Because I just did do an up and yeah, I did do an add-on update. And uh, I'm thinking maybe just me. That or I'm being like personally DDoSed or something. Well, this is a lost connection, not a uh I reckon something might be corrupted. Oh, I, it shouldn't let me log in at all, right? Um. Should we do my makeup guesses? Can you guess because I was too mesmerized with the smoky eye fishing or drawing? Unworld waddling. No, it gives a hint. Fly your ground. Flying, and I own it. Does that mount a dinosaur? Yes. The one that fear was on? Yeah. It's fear corrupted. Not, not corrupted, but like. I'm not having any more like I'm not having dropped frames or anything like that so I don't think it's an internet connection thing I think it's a I think it's a wow thing if I get DC'd again I'm gonna nix the add-ons and see if that helps now wow's not responding oh there we go uh dark phoenix no how do you get a dinosaur ah uh, there are plenty of dinosaur based mounts in the game uh and they all have different ways of obtaining Different methods. Uh, okay, where is Dalaran? It's not how you pronounce it, I'm aware. Northrend Dalaran. Uh, but this particular one is called the Mighty Brutosaur. And you used to be able to buy it from fi for 5 million gold from a, yep, there we go, from a vendor. Um, but they removed it from the vendor. And now you can buy it from the Black Market Auction House when it pops up for um for 10 oh well it usually goes for gold cap but the bidding starts at five million all right open a new window new folder oops open the oops let's get in here retail interface add-ons control x control v give it 12 minutes Nope, sorry, 45 seconds, but that is Microsoft time. Hey Jack, have you broken it with your updated add-on? <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? A uh, great thing about add-on managers is if this works, if I can get in with no add-ons, I can put them all back and I can pull out just the ones that I've just updated. Super useful. Thirty seconds to go. Never seen a dinosaur ever in well. Um, Battle for Azeroth had a ton of dinosaurs, so I'm guessing you didn't play that expansion. Uh, do get up its fossil, take it to the museum, walk out of the museum, go back in here. You got a dinosaur? That's Pokemon. <laughs> Mm, blue dragon hawk no fathom dweller no okay let's try taking this off again <clears throat> cobalt netherwing drake yes Diz, I need you to pick me a number between 1 and 100 because you've won a random Steam key for guessing first. Okay, cool. Noted. Uh, Alright, so let's see how long I stay online. <clears throat> Four, I got booted before I finished my teleport, so... So far, so good. 77. You have one. Dark side is three. <clears throat> there you go. I've sent you the Steam key via Twitch DM, and I can also see the DM you've sent me back. 
I, I have not, I'm not gonna, I haven't lost that by sending you a new message. But congratulations! I hope that either you enjoy the game, or whoever you decide to gift the game to enjoys the game. <clears throat> okay. Let us... This feels like we're fine. No disconnects. Everything's golden. And I've been online for a little while. So... <clears throat> what did I just update? Updated at. Okay. So, uh, let's grab all of these and pop them back where they belong. <laughs> DPS queues. That's hilarious, Jess. Everyone going tank or healer trying to get a faster queue. You're very welcome, Diz. Congrats. So that's a game we play every day, usually at the start of stream. Um, but today, it just took a little bit longer. What are the most useful add-ons to get for WoW? That's a really good question, and it depends heavily on what kind of content you enjoy playing. So what what do you do usually in WoW? Like when you log in, what, what parts of the game do you play? Do you raid? Do you dungeon? Do you PvP? Do you do collectible stuff? Do you level? Like, what exactly do you do? today. Oh, good! Minute 30 on transferring all the uh, add-ons back. You just do quests? Do you fish for goop? Indeed. Well... Um, what do you- what, are, what is the goal of doing the quests for you? Are you trying to level up to max or like so you're not quite level 60 yet or are you trying to do every quest in the game or like what is what is your goal with doing the quests level up okay so you're leveling still perfect um the the add-on i use most for leveling is zygor um there are some free it's a guide viewer and they do include some free guides but it is a subscription if you want to get access to more guides um there is a version uh, that they, that a lot of, there, there's a, there's an add-on that a lot of people like called Azeroth Auto, excuse me, Azeroth Autopilot, um, which basically guides you on the most efficient route to level, uh, but it's more aimed at people who have already got a max level tune, so if you're leveling through battle for Azeroth, you might not, um, be able to use it, because they usually tell you to go through Warlord's Adrenal as the expansion. So if you've already got one max level tune, you can definitely use Azeroth Autopilot, but if you're a new player, um, I'd honestly recommend just playing through as you are, like just, just kind of going through without the add-ons. The, the, the key with add-ons is if you encounter something and you go, huh, I really wish the game did this. I really wish the game gave me this information. Or I really wish the game looked like, like the, the UI looked like that. Or I wish there was an extra button here that did X. Those are the kind of questions or the kind of wishes that add-ons can answer or, or grant. So if you are content with how the game is running, you do not need any add-ons. Add-ons are optional, unnecessary additions to the game. If you start doing stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't keep track of this, I need something to help me keep track of this, then there will be an add-on that will help you keep track of that. Does that make sense? Um, but you don't need them. Uh, they're just, they're there to add little bits and pieces. Um, okay, so the things that I just updated were Trade Skill Master. So let's grab TSM and put them in the Oops folder. Uh, Deadly Boss Mods. That's a large add-on. Let's put DBM in the oops hold up <clears throat> LVY 
build UI in the oops folder. <laughs> it's all the big ones. Oh, the music just got quiet. I didn't DC. I thought I did for a second there. Um, table data collect. Oh! What just... Table data collector. I am gonna, just, just for, you know, testing purposes, uh, I'm gonna pop table data back across, but it is the first one I'm gonna move back in, because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be fine. Uh, light mount. I just updated. <clears throat> Um, and astral keys. Alright, cool. So if I... That should load up all my add-ons. Um... Pushing to be honest, Grumble is a rare one. Isn't up in ZM today? Oh, no. That's okay, Jess. We'll check again tomorrow. Uh, I was doing the infinite blue, which was a white noise occasional pop splash. Never even got to level 30 ever. I've played on and off for years. That's okay, Teresa. Look, leveling is great fun. Especially if you've got, like, limited time to play. Then there's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Save others. Very noble pursuit game. Okay, you look kind of cool. Thank you. So it's definitely add-ons, but not any of the ones that I've recently updated. Interesting. What the hell? Maybe Ace 3. Let's, let's remove it. I know a lot of things rely on Ace, so it's going to turn off a lot of add-ons, but... Actually, no, you know what? Let's... Let's get rid of everything again, and then just put one thing back at a time. This is a little bit silly. Mm. Mm. Replicate that. Mm. Morning, Jago. Oh, fantastic! Belated grats on six years, dude. Thank you, Django. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Would you say CurseForge is any good for add ons? Most developers host their add ons on CurseForge. It's just, it's just a depository. Um, like, it's, it's like, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm a streamer and I choose to stream on Twitch. Um, there are other streamers who choose to stream on Facebook or YouTube gaming, uh, YouTube or, or, you know, etc. So there are all these different streaming platforms. CurseForge is just like a hosting platform where people can drop their, their add-ons for people to find them more easily. Um, it's not like... Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's basically all it is. It's just one of a handful of places where you can find add-ons. <clears throat> Googled add-ons and curse which came up because they have phenomenal SEO. <laughs> because they have phenomenal SEO. All right, all the things is an important add-on to have. Let's drop that in. I love how obvious it was that it was the add-ons. Like, as soon as I got in, it just splat. <clears throat> now we find out what ATTs. Um, oh, it doesn't depend on anything else. It's literally just completely standalone. That's really cool. The lockup is me refreshing ATT. That's not, um... Oh, there you go. It did update again that time. That's good. Right, cool. 
Brilliant. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to need GSE. <laughs> I'm probably going to need GSE. So let's stick that one in. I understand you don't have to have ACE installed anymore if an add-on needs it, then it includes it. Interesting. on I guess it would depend on like how big a project the add-on is and stuff as well like a small add-on developers will rely on another add-ons installation of ace to to run itself kind of thing classic yeah Titan panel is a massive add-on um, that has been around for a very, very, very long time. So I would assume, oh, it's Alliance Control anyway. So I would assume that Titan Panel probably has it included. And so a lot of the bigger ones, so like, you know, your DBMs, your LVIs, your, that kind of stuff. But if you're grabbing a smaller add-on from a, like a singular developer who does it by themselves with no localization or anything like that, they're not going to put in as much work. It's just like, they can't, they, it's a physical impossibility. All right, I seem to be stable. So let's put in, what else might we need? <clears throat> uh, can I mog it would be pretty useful. <clears throat> they should have it included. They should, but they don't. Not all of them. And that's okay. Oh, so GSE seems to be fine without it. <laughs> hey, Josh. So about a screen. Ah, of course you are. Uh, Fairy, Zam, V, Dan, Landar, Death, and Max. Congratulations to you on your bonus shit. Sorry, I've been distracted by the fact that my WoW keeps crashing. Or disconnecting, not crashing. Uh, I used to have add-on ages go for all names. I used to type out on the my memory and getting that one now. Brilliant. Wonderful. Still, none of the ranged kills. This is, uh... This is fun. Uh, but I seem to be good. Uh, and... Yeah, can I mog it is... Working. Alright. So... Multiholics probably. Oh no, saved instances. Saved instances would be great. <sighs> Gotta love thorough troubleshooting. <laughs> yes, it does. For me, once downloaded, how do I put an add on into my game? There are instructions for it on CurseForge. You've got to stick it into a particular folder in your installation. Um, there should be, if you scroll down to the bottom of any page on Curse, it'll be somewhere like, how do I install, blah, 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 something like that. Um, or even on the download screen, it might even, it might tell you, like, literally right there, this is how to install what you've just downloaded. Um, I don't remember, I, yeah, it's been a long time. Am I fine? I appear to be fine. Okay. Loot Appraiser and Loot Appraiser Challenge should be uh, fairly useful add-ons to have. Uh, is this way to install the CurseForge app? Yeah, there are a lot of other ones that manage installation of add-ons as well. Um, I use WowUp, <coughs> personally. Uh, so it's Alliance controlled, and who did I need? It was Shaman, wasn't it? Yeah. Seems to be fine with Ludapraiser. Grab Zygor, because Zygor is something I use like a lot. <laughs> How 
was your day? Yeah, it was okay. It's okay. Uh, it could have been more productive, but I'm I'm quite drained. Uh, so it was not super duper productive, but I enjoyed it still. I still doing lax. Ah, uh, yes, occasionally piano. I'm actually having some issues at the moment. I keep getting booted from WoW. Um, I keep getting disconnected. Not like the game's not crashing. It's an actual disconnect. Uh, and I removed all my add-ons and didn't disconnect. So now I'm trying to figure out which of my add-ons is at fault. Um, <laughs> so we're, we're getting there. But um, yeah, we will we will likely be doing more. I just need to make sure that I'm not going to, if I'm going to host something like that, that I'm actually going to have a, an actual connection that exists. Because it's kind of hard to uh, to do it if you can't stay online, hey? I'm not gonna have this as you take it easy. Can't always be in go mode. Exactly. Exactly. Let's enable all. Let's see how we go. I wonder if there's an add on causing issues and it is in the ACE library. If I have the. If I have one of them turned off, will it still cause a disconnect? because it's still trying to access the library, or will it just not do it? Is it any region? Yeah, you can join them cross-region. Cross-faction, cross-region, anywhere, anyhow. Yeah, you just have to have the add-ons installed, both of them, and uh, on the friends list of the person who's hosting, which is me! Exclamation add me will get you my battle tag. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure how add-ons really, like, work work. Um, so information would be handy. Um, so yeah, if I have them all installed, but the offending add-on disabled, will I still DC? If it's a, if it's an issue with Ace, like we think it might be. <clears throat> no? Okay. It's disabled and it isn't loaded at all. Even if it's gone funky with the... And if I have got two add-ons that are messing with Ace and Ace is causing the issue, if I have one of them turned off, I won't disconnect. And if I have the other one turned off, I won't disconnect. But if I have both of them on, I will. Is it so it's like a either or, or will only one of them actually be causing it? entirely on what's happening. Good, okay, noted. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm trying to remember what I actually, like... I'm assuming the reason I have an Ace 3 folder is because one of my add-ons needs it. Don't know which, but at least one of them needs it. Hmm. <clears throat> The ace itself or the add-on that uses ace. Good. So I play with that add-on. Any add-ons or UI? You don't play X. You can't pull that. The only reason I mentioned ace at all is because I saw you had it installed. It only happens when an add-on requires it. Yeah. Fear right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think with my colander. It's great. I'm getting there. Okay. Oh, dependency missing. Add-on factory. Oh, I didn't realize add-on factory was that. Okay, good. Now I know that that's it. <laughs> Let's put it back. So I have no game crash here. Okay, game can't crash if you don't play the game. This is fun. Love troubleshooting live on stream when I'm supposed to be entertaining 100 plus people. It's phenomenal. <laughs> Look, I hope at least like the banter is keeping you guys entertained. It's just on teleport, right? No, no, I was sitting in the garrison and I just disconnected. This is entertaining and informational. Good. Educational streams with fear. 
Do troubleshooting for a living? I'm going about it the right way though, aren't I? Like, I may not like I'm, I may not encounter issues too frequently, but I'm I reckon I'm a pretty good troubleshooter. All right, I usually would have DC by now. Uh, cool. All right, next one. Uh, let's do LVY. Actually, let me just double check that I have all my dependencies. Good. Okay. Uh, copy over Elvua. Make it look a little bit pretty. <clears throat> I should unplug it. No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't turned it off and on again. But I am turning individual add-ons off and on by moving them. <laughs> it's a thing. And it's so it's surprising that even like removing all the ones I just updated still made it break like you know what I mean the only thing I can think of is that yeah like what what Jack said that one of the updated one of the things that I updated has changed a back-end library which is now incompatible with something and it's just having a freak out <clears throat> does anything to click the buttons almost 100% not mine good fantastic sarcasm detected a robot probably good and honestly, Jack, like I had removed, like I'd removed your add-on and it still crashed. So I'm, I'm almost certain it's not yours. I just don't know what it is. You hello, are Higgins. not prepared. Hello, hello. All right, haven't DC'd yet. So let's pop the last, like the oldest add-on to be updated is the Wowhead Looter. So let's stick that in. And see, we'll just work up the list now from longest, like oldest to, to most recent and see how we go. Hello, Hikons. Welcome on in. How is your stream? Hope you had a fantastic time. Uh, welcome, everyone. If you haven't been here before, I am Fear. It is lovely to meet you. Uh, and today we are troubleshooting why is my WoW crashing? It's not crashing. It's disconnecting. Um, <laughs> all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I had a DC. And now every time, and then I, every time I logged in, I DC'd in under a minute. Uh, same error message each time. So I got rid of all my add-ons and I'm putting them back one at a time until something breaks. So we are troubleshooting. Um, usually my content is far more entertaining than this. I promise. <laughs> but I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Welcome on in. Welcome Raiders indeed. Hello Viv, how are you going? Welcome back. And yours are uh, Table Data Collector. Hello Kaz, welcome in. He's from his goods. Ready to hear about your DCs? Thank you, I appreciate it. Like, it is harming me. I wanted. I was supposed to be farming transmog today, but no. Um. So, well, I haven't DC'd yet, so let's move on to the next one. Um. Oh, that's Zygor. So Zygor's already installed. Card flipping. Let's put card flipping back. That should be like that should not be causing any issues at all. Uh. Something keep trying. That's hyper chest doing this. It'd be interesting to see, wouldn't it? Just, I'm pretty sure it spawns roughly every half hour. I'm gonna give her a hard time. Yeah, look, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, maybe I should eat some beans for dessert while we try to figure out what the hell is going on. Okay, so card flipping was disabled, uh, as was the Wowhead Looter and LVI. So I hope so. Card flipper, Wowhead, and LVI. Let's see if we get a crash. Bean boozled. Dead fish. Um, yesterday was our, our six year anniversary celebration stream, marathon stream. And every time we got a, a sub, a donation, a cheer of, of you know, a certain amount or more, um, I was eating a bean boozled bean, but I we had a couple hype trains and I got really far behind. So I've got them here and I'm working through them now instead. It's great. Dump truck for dessert. Collecting data for stuff. It was amazing. It was so much fun. I spent two thirds of it fishing. I'm not even kidding. Eight hours and 15 minutes spent fishing for strange goop in Xerath Mortis. It was great. Wonderful. Phenomenal. All right, we're alive. Simple armory. Let's do it. 
You are not ah, prepared. Axiom. Hello, welcome back. How are you? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. If you haven't been here before, I am Fia. It is lovely to meet you. Uh, we're doing some troubleshooting because I keep DCing from WoW. And I have on, I, I DC'd, I took all the add-ons away and I didn't DC. So I know it's an add-on. We're trying to narrow down which one it is. <clears throat> I might check for updates. Maybe another, maybe one of them that I've just updated has like pushed another update because it's realized it's broken. Nope, okay, not yet. Let's just check that that is enabled. It is not. <clears throat> oh, such an entertaining fishing, best fishing stream. It was great. Got a strange group in 27 minutes. Well done. Congratulations. Hello, Talon. Welcome back to again. I did. I did. Eight hours and 15 minutes, and I got it. Cast 1612. I was pretty happy. Hey, life. Welcome in. Hello, nerd. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> All right, still alive. Uh, so let us grab uh, TD bet pa battle pet script and rematch. They are very much interconnected. So let's pop that down. <clears throat> Be that time. No worries. X rest well. I will see you next time. Oh, excuse me. See you next time. Uh, how's the stream going? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, up until I started getting DCs. Um, so we're now trying to figure out which add on is screwing me over. Uh, new character? Nope. None of my characters are new. I've got 50 of them. I can't make any new tunes. dishwater. Mm. Nom nom indeed venom. So gross. So gross. Okay. really impatient. I kind of want to reactivate them five at a time, but I know that's going to kick me in the butt. I uh, walking characters put me as human. I just made it as Worgen. Why has this happened? Or is it meant to? Worgens are like werewolves. They shape, they shape shift. They shift into their Worgen form. Look in the spell book. That's why when you were creating it, there was a human in the background. That's your human form and your Worgen form. It, it all gets explained in your like opening area and stuff, uh, for, like the Wargun one. Um, if you haven't got a max level two, and you're gonna be playing through Exiles Reach, but yeah, that's uh, that's why you've got two forms on the character creation screen because you use both of them. <clears throat> Wargans have got a really cool history. I definitely recommend like having a read up on them and, and stuff like that. 
Very cool background. Look, we're getting there. The list is about half what it should be. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Ludapraiser is already in, I believe. Is. Let's grab these ones. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. You still have to when you get the ability to change, yeah, something like that. I thought you could change right from the get-go, but I could be wrong. Um, it's been a while, a long while since I've leveled a Wargan. Darn, fair enough. I'm gonna start heading for, I mean, it's been over 15 minutes now, so knowing my luck, Horde controls Windergrass now. But um, I'm gonna start heading towards, uh, cause I don't wanna keep going. <clears throat> but that feels like we're good, so let's do another batch. Did I actually turn those on? Of course I didn't. It's interesting because I went through a few load screens before the, dis the disconnect started happening. So I don't know what's happened. So I've still got that batch that I haven't turned on yet. So let's... That's just an angle of the roof though. That's not a... For us to be concerned about. That's not an add-on thing. Wait, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be taking the portal to fucking... <laughs> to Northrend. Ugh. It's fine. It is a little ball. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. We seem to be good. So I'm gonna go through this portal and I'm gonna activate the ne the next group that I've in reinstalled. Let's see if we get a DC. It is what it is. It is. It is. All right. So we're enabling table data collector, Tomcats, Tom Tom, and Venture Plan. Plus the extra missions for Venture Plan. <clears throat> Doing them in batches, because I'm getting impatient. But it's okay, at least if I do it in batches, I know it's one of the four or five, you know, like, we're good. <clears throat> uh, update for you, got the food, getting six store gift card for me, you love. Food was cold and soggy, brilliant. Well, I mean, it's not brilliant, obviously, um, but it's good that they gave you the money. The, yeah, I, it really, it really sucks. I hate the way that the, um, I really hate the way food delivery services handle that kind of stuff, uh, handle like the refunds and things like that, because often what they'll do is just not give the money to the restaurant. The restaurant did the right thing. They had your food prepared, waiting, ready to go. It was, they, they did their job perfectly. They did nothing wrong. 
that menu log side of things, the driver actually rocking up and doing their job and all that kind of stuff, that's what caused the issue. And yet it's the restaurant that won't get paid. Not saying you've done anything wrong, like you did the absolute right thing and you needed the money back because you as the consumer were stuffed over. I just really don't like the uh, the business model of those kind of companies because that's how they handle the refunds. They just take the money off the, uh, the restaurant again um, when they did their job, which especially if it's a smaller restaurant and you know they're getting 80% of their orders through Uber Eats or Menulog and stuff because it, it you know exposes them to a massive customer base having drivers screw them over like that can cost them their, their business like can cost them their entire business especially if people you know like that they have that that issue and then you go on and you give them a bad review because the food was crap right so they deserve a bad review but not under like you guys know because you called the restaurant you know it's not the restaurant's fault and you knew it was menu logs fault so you're not going to leave i hope you're not going to leave a terrible review of the restaurant because the restaurant did, did the right thing but you know what i mean it just yeah it, it's upsetting the whole thing is a bit dodgy you know but i'm really glad that you're getting what you deserve because that's that is important so I'm I'm sorry for using this as a platform for my <laughs> for for a rant, um, but here we are. All right, cool. So it's definitely not your add-on, Jack, because I'm not DC'd yet. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's go to here. And stick these ones back in. Uh, why are you do the other half? I have to put the little man in the bastard. Be back soon, indeed. We'll see you soon, Panda. Exactly. 500 and going. K. Okay. I. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, it hasn't been seen issues with many log drivers more often than not. Now we order directly with the restaurant who have their own limited drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's it's a bit rough. You know, the advent of, of things like Uber Eats and Menulog and Deliveroo and all that kind of stuff, they're, they're great, you know, it really does open up a huge range of options for restaurants and stuff. Even, even restaurants that don't necessarily open to the public to sit there and do, like, it just, it can, it can hugely improve their uh, ability to uh, make a buck, you know, make, make their money. But um, it can also really royally screw them over. Uh, through no fault of their own, which, which sucks. I'm leaving a bad review. I'm glad, Diz. I'm glad. Uh, look, so many people would just take it at face value. This is what I got soggy food, therefore the restaurant's crap. Like, do you know what I mean? So many people. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that you guys dug a little deeper and yeah. Uh, okay. Vaults of Archibon. This is a shared lockout, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, uh, so we want to go with 25 player because we get more loot. Let's go. Uh, hello, Beans. How are you going? Welcome back. I should have pick up our food, drive to another restaurant, pick up more food, drive to another person's house, then drop our food off. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. The more deliveries they complete, the more cash they get. And because the demand has risen massively, but the number of drivers hasn't, they are encouraged to do multiple, like, you know, grab a bunch of food and then bup, 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 as you go along. Uh, that's why Uber Eats has the whole, like, you can save a couple of dollars if you are okay with them delivering a bunch of stuff on the way. Or if you pay an extra couple of dollars, they'll make sure you're the first stop on their route kind of thing. It's, um, yeah, I, I understand it's a demand thing. I get it. But God. Um, uh, surprisingly, food was cold and gross. Yeah. As if I'm Uber Eats, oh, ordering Uber Eats pay the extra to be first delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Know yourself. How goes the farming? Yeah, going okay. I've had some disconnect issues. Um, so it's been a little bit wonky. I'm trying to figure out which, I know it's an add-on that's causing it because I had disconnects, removed all my add-ons, no disconnects. Put them all back, disconnects. So I know it's the add-on. So I'm trying to, I'm putting them back like a handful at a time to try to figure out like, what is going on? All right, Coralon. Give me something shiny, please. I could use a drop. <clears throat> Remember this happened to you before? Uh, did it? 
When? That must have been years ago. It hasn't happened for a very long time. I just have my vehicle kind of drive and get food myself. It's cheaper and generally in better condition by the time I get home. Uh, if more places in my area had their own delivery, I'd use those, but they're few and far between. Yeah, because they don't need to. Fantastic. Um, they don't need to pay a delivery driver to see, because the thing is, like, what if they only get two delivery that requests that aren't through the app because people don't realize they have their own delivery. So they're paying a person an hourly wage for eight, nine hours to sit around and wait in case there's an order and then maybe there isn't one and so they've lost nine hours worth of wages plus super etc for that person when they can go with something like menu log it saves them money and it brings them extra business because they're exposed to people who might not know that they exist otherwise it's honestly like business wise it makes sense for them to not have their own delivery drivers anymore um but yeah it is uh it is a bit dodgy Yeah, uh, play, like things like Uber Eats and Menu Log and stuff, they do have a pickup option, so you can order through the platform and then go and pick it up yourself. Uh, and there have actually there have definitely been some times recently where I've thought we should probably do that next time. A month or two ago, no, I haven't had that kind of an issue for a long time. Uh, I was having random disconnect issues, but it was my router, uh, and my whole stream was crashing, not just WoW. Um, but no, I haven't had any add-on issues for a long time. Which is great. Totally get it. Oh yeah, of course, Kay, of course. Just kind of, you know, thinking aloud. You know what I'm like. Hello, Seeker. Have you had a positive and peaceful day? Yeah, we're going all right. I did grocery shopping. That's always useful. Good to have food for the week. Um, all right, I think it's probably time I put in a new handful of add-ons because they seem to be going pretty well. Let today have the flu? Of course. Of course. It might also have been like another streamer or something like that as well. Like, Lord knows there's enough of us. But that's okay. No biggie. Uh, see, I do the pickup thing, except you still pay the Uber Eats premium on your prices. I try calling the restaurant, see if I can place a phone order first. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. In this economy. Peaceful days in this economy. Has that transferred? It has. So I'm going to pop in a reload while we switch over to Stream Raiders. There are other streamers. I know them! Shock horror. There are indeed. We raid one at the end of almost every stream. Wait, you mean Fee isn't the only Twitch person? Yup! That's why my channel isn't twitch.tv. <laughs> can only, there can be only one streamer. Well, if there was only one, it probably wouldn't be me. Probably be someone who makes Amazon a shitload more money, let's be honest. <laughs> Alright, add-ons, let's turn y'all on. some others because of you raiding people. Yes. Raids are great fun. I'm eat another bean. Coconut. Zam, Mick, Cade, Ali, Brick, Fade, Avoka, and Kim. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. The end of a raid, of a raid, of a raid. I wound up on Otters 24-7. It is incredible, like, because I leave a lurk on when I go to bed after stream. When I wake up, without a doubt, I'm always on a new, like, a, a new channel. And I'm like, who is this and how did I get here? <laughs> Uh, oh, I killed two! Fantastic. I finally managed to get my range kills. Ah! Yay, Kay! Congratulations! That is fantastic news. 
Well done. Where else can you get casual? Discussions of cannibalism only here, it tells you. Look, you might not be wrong. Okay, I have to kill two melee units, so let's go with the Berserker and see what they can do. Congratulations, Kay. Well done. Well done. Stubbornness pays off again. And I'm still attached to the game. So, and I've got all the add-ons on. Good. All right, let's go with another batch. Okay, we're going to go with these four. Because the next one's a big chunk of folders for one add-on. So I'm going to just go with, like, this one. Oh, sorry. That was me. That was me. That was me. Um, let's reload. I'm so proud of you, Kay. Well bloody done. <laughs> the bloody mount. Uh, top comment on Warhead will give you the 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 gist. I have to actually enable them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One of my many Chrome tabs. Yeah, know the feeling. Hey, by the way, when I've refreshed my stuff on Data for Azeroth, there are two Xerath Mortis mounts it's not registering. It still says I've got 643 mounts, but I know I have 645. So just in case anyone else is experiencing the same issue. <clears throat> Which is really annoying because I'm like, 647 is the person above me in the ranking. So I've only got a couple more mounts to get before I before I beat them. Alright, so those add-ons are activated now. Let's see how we're going. I don't know the missing dependencies, are they? Come on, Toravon. Give me something. You gotta give me something. <clears throat> I guess not. Alright, next batch of add-ons, because I'm still connected. Well, next add-on is going to be Handy Notes, because it's got a whole ton of um, folders. So I feel like it's safer to be for me to just do that one as one. Okay, reload. Check. Ugh, must say Zerath Mortis is a really nice area. I agree, Beans. I agree wholeheartedly. I think it's gorgeous. I think the music is awesome. Um, and I think it's quite fun. Like, all the different little bits and pieces you can do in the zone are really enjoyable. I like it quite a bit. They did very well. They did. I'm loving ZM. Agreed. Agreed. Look, I may have actually, the drop that happened before might be enough to, to get us good. Might, but we will see. <clears throat> okay. It's handy notes. Let's reload. Seems rare for three hours. Oh, Jas. Yeah, can you? You've confirmed that it can drop after the first skill of the day. Yeah, nice. There's too many jumping puzzles. Oh, give it like two weeks, and you won't even care anymore. It doesn't like. They put the jumping puzzles in because you either work your ass off to get it really, really early. 
or you just step back and you wait a month and then you fly up there. Like they are complete, you do not have to do any of them. Not a single one. You can ignore every single one of them and just go fly up there and get it when we get flying. Like, so, so easy. Just uh, hit all in on issue, indeed. Well, we have stream on Wednesday uh, and that is when I'll be doing, uh, so start a stream, I'll kick off with the story. So I have got all the add-ons installed, yes. Good, and no missing dependencies. So far, none of the add-ons that I've reinstalled has used the Ace folder, which is kind of funny. Out the stuff to unlock flying. Yeah. Isn't it just the quest line? The story quest. I could be wrong. As far as I was aware, it was just the storyline quest. Hey! Mm, may also be an add-on that doesn't exist anymore slash change to use embedded ace 3. Yeah, true. True. Six achievements, including one register. Ah, that's right. Gotcha, gotcha. That's right, we'll get there. Journal which kind of needs a guide, yeah. That's right, Handy Notes has uh, pins for all that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, so Vault of Archivon. 77 out of 227. Uh, which means we're now doing Vault of Archivon on Paladin. Good, so I'm gonna half. Okay. Guns still seem good. Let's pop DBM back in. Going on main. It's not my I'm not main. A paladin. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> oh god. Uh so did that did I get there in time? I have to turn DBM on. No, I didn't. Okay, that's right. Um but it is still Vault of Archivon. Oh, I was gonna check if it was still Alliance. I think it'll still be Alliance because they were defending. And I don't think there was anyone there actually doing anything. Uh, so let's assume. Let's assume. We're getting close to having a minimum 30% on all dungeons and raids, which is pretty bloody spectacular, if you ask me. DBM, good. Giving the spider rare for can I get my doggo pet? And I'll get the spider instead. Yep. I knew you were gonna want the the wolf mount. Uber Fool's Day finish a dress in full light, bring a cosplay into a pally order hall content all day. Ugh. Okay, well I don't have full light bring a cosplay. Uh, and that would be incredibly difficult to make in like half a month, or at all, and incredibly expensive as well. I think I updated all these numbers earlier, didn't I? I did. So let's just roll with it. <clears throat> Alright, 55 out of 191. Mm, since the fear agrees. Uh, I'd be entertaining on my birthday, lol. Brilliant. Ah, uh, we seem like we're okay. So let's install another add-on. Four. Let's install four. So I'm not installing his ace three. Hmm. 
Isn't it beautiful? Santa? <laughs> a little hard to use TomTom -tom when it's disabled. Correct. TomTom -tom does need to be turned on in order to be able to be used. That's hilarious. Hi, the sun well. Ah, Nav. 28 months, my goodness. Holy cow, that's such a long time, hey. Goodness gracious me, thank you so much for the resub and thank you for your ongoing support. And your generosity and, ah, oh, amazing. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, We had some DC issues earlier, so I'm trying to narrow it down to which add-on is causing it because I know it was an add-on because I took all the add-ons away, DC stopped. Put the add-ons back, DC's reappeared. So, um. And I think it might just be the Ace 3 library being balked. Um, because it's either one of the four add-ons I just reinstalled, or it's the Ace 3 library. <laughs> so we're gonna We're gonna we're gonna find out shortly. I do believe. So, Jack, how do I use your table data collector thing for updating my ATT automatically? What what do I need to to do? How do I make it do the thing? <clears throat> Or are you not done fiddling yet? That's also okay. Minimap button, click dungeon raid button, select all and copy text box, paste it into any row of test data you want. Any row, okay, oh any column, okay. Alright, so if I... That's what request, where's... Let's copy faster. Oh my god. Where is the bloody button? Is it that one? <laughs> Not accepting anymore, sorry. <laughs> um, just open ATT main list for it to pull data. And I'm guessing I need to do the refreshes to make sure it's actually correct. Recently cancelled scan meta for gold making. Ooh, are you having fun with it now? Are you enjoying it? Oh, it's horde controlled now. Someone was here. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, I need to go home then. Um, now changes, yeah, refresh helps. Okay. So there's all that. Let me grab that. Progress dump. And then I copy. Whoop, oh, nope. Go away. Select all, copy. Test data. Paste. Has it then popped it into Desi's? What's it? Nope, it hasn't. Ref. Oh, you've got okay. Ref. <laughs> Gotta love a ref error. 
Nice to be lucky. Congrats. I didn't expect it. That's okay, Nutty. Welcome back. All right. So the total completion is hard coded. And then what I'm pulling is the number that I have collected. Is that what we're saying? So 415 out of 780, total completion is not hard coded. Oh, isn't it? When I'm clicking on Desi's column, it's just got a number in the in the column. By the formula. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Far out. That is beautiful. I know I've told you before, but I am so impressed by you. Like, <laughs> try putting something in. Ref! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'm going to undo that. Uh, but yeah, those numbers are right. The the total numbers are right. So that's good. Hey, all right. Let's switch over to the horde because it's horde controlled now. Because of course it is. It's not bloody long enough. Well, look, I look like I'm solid. The only add-on that's left in the oops folder is Ace. So it can it can just stay there. <laughs> it can just stay there. Uh, right, Paladin. Excuse me. And then the, the old formula down the bottom to figure out which one's the lowest percentage, that'll just, that'll still work the same because it's still just working on the values of those cells regardless of how they got there sort of thing. Um, two and five rogue wargan, I have to stop playing now. I need to get ready for work. Of course, Teresa, not a problem. Have fun, enjoy. Success spreadsheet looks amazing, doesn't it? I love it. So I, I built the spreadsheet by hand. Like I brought in all the, like the names of the things and all the colors and all the conditional formatting and all that kind of stuff. It was all hand done. Like it was all made by hand. Um, and then Jack has helped me with a few, um, has, has written, hasn't helped me, has written for me uh, a few formula, like a few essentially lines of programming. Um, so for example, at the bottom of each class column, the, the name of the dungeon or raid and the percentage of the lowest one, that's Jack. And then at the bottom left, all the way down the bottom where it has the dungeon name, the the tune name and the percentage, that's the lowest overall out of everything, that's Jack. And then the entire other two tabs, 12C test and test data, entirely Jack. 100%, <laughs> I've given, given Jack editor status um, or editor permissions or whatever on the thing because, excuse me, yes. Um, <laughs> um, uh, is there theory anyone could do this thing too? Uh, which thing? The, the importing of the AT stuff? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you can't use my spreadsheet. Go away. Uh, what you can do is make a copy and it'll pull everything, including all of Jack's beautiful programming into the copy that you make in your own thing. The only... <laughs> All of the users have entered the, the spreadsheet. Um, <laughs> the only thing is, if Jack makes a tweak, your your copy in your server, uh, in your, your folder, uh, your Google Drive will not have that tweak. And if you make another copy so that you can get that tweak, it'll still be all my data. So you'd have to re-import all your own data. But honestly, with Jack's add-on, it's like not even a problem anymore. But yeah, she's still work around. Amazing. Oh my God. I'm really kind of nervous, but I'm almost feeling like I'm ready to like delete my own, um, my, my first tab and just use yours. But I'm like nervous. Where is the Shatrath portal? Why not? Oh, it's Crystal Song. 
not Shatrath, I'm going to Northrend. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. Um, how's your tooth going? You haven't had the surgery yet, have you? I had the first surgery back in October to remove the, the tooth uh, and put in the bone graft. Um, that's all, that was all successful. Uh, bone graft is healed beautifully, like textbook, everything's fantastic. Um, so I have my second surgery booked to put the implant in, and that is a week from tomorrow. So I'm definitely not nervous at all. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I've got, a uh, stage two of a root canal, um, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. They're taking out temporary filling and putting in a permanent one. Uh, and then the Monday after, uh, I'm going in for my second surgery. Yep. Drop another grand on hospital fees. Fantastic. I've paid my surgeon 2,500 bucks. I've paid my anaesthetist a thousand. Um, and I'll be paying the hospital fee, which will probably be somewhere around a grand. Um, yeah. Whew, shit's expensive, yo. Just fine with the spreadsheet thing. See, if you do see any missing categories, there's a way to add them. I don't have any data. All the missing categories are uncollectible now, though. Okay, awesome. Uh, so the add-on, if it's one we use, when we're giving me adventure table data. Yes, that's the one. You do need to update it, obviously. Um, but yes, that is the one. What's Jack's add-on? Table collect- da table data collector. Um, so the add-on has an update. Yeah! Table data collector on Curseforge. I'm back. What did I miss? Everything. And also nothing. Uh, <laughs> nah, we're all good. Just having a, a chill. We're talking about the, the spreadsheet, the magical, magnificent spreadsheet that Jack just continues to improve beyond all of my wildest dreams. All you need to do is replace the data from column C onwards in test data with your own, uh, then change the names in 12C test. Yep. Onwards, yeah. So, um, and then what I can do, what I'm assuming I can do, is if I have the 12 names, like if I have all the 12 classes in there, all I'd need to do to have it update in the right place in the test one is copy and then paste into, like, if I'm on Desi, click Desi up the top and paste into Desi's column and it'll update in the right place, I'm guessing, because then that won't wipe out anybody else's data either. Uh, is there a similar add-on for export of specific TSM prices? I don't think so. Um, you'd probably be checking in the TSM Discord for that info. Um, you can do it in any order. Oh, of course, of course, because it'll it'll re it'll read the name and, and plug in the stuff where it is. But if I if I delete a column, I'm assuming it'll wipe the data for that person in 12C test. Oh crap! I'm in holy spec. Um. Oh yeah, cool. Yep. Yeah. So if I just maintain the twelve columns in whatever order, but if I if I grab Alexia's data and paste it over Alexia's old data, it should keep everything sort of um, where it should be. Sorry, it was <laughs> I wasn't particularly clear with that. So, <laughs> well, perfect, amazing. All right, that's gonna be real nice. So exciting. I love that your bank raid mats has like nothing, just by the way. <laughs> Replacing just a direct paste over matching name with full replace, of course. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited. Can't wait to update all my tunes tonight. <laughs> so another account. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> I'm like, that's not. Mm, that's not right. It just worked really well that my paladin on alliance side has the same name as the first paladin on horde side. Otherwise it wouldn't have worked. That's really funny. Alright, beans. Let's get through these. Yeah. Yay. Delicious. So, these are bean boozled jelly beans. So, half of them are delicious, like this pear jelly bean. And half of them are disgusting. The equivalent green one is a boogers 
flavored jelly bean. Um, yesterday we had my six year anniversary celebration stream. And for subs uh, and donations and cheers above a certain amount, I was eating beans. Um, but. Hey! But we had a couple of. <laughs> we had a couple of hype trains. And so I fell very, very, very far behind on the beans, so I'm trying to catch up a bit today. I don't have too, too many left. Um, still a few, but not, like, a ridiculous amount. Um, so... You may see me pull a funny face. I'm like, what are you... And then I realized you're putting in the, the formula in all the different things, yes? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Only the RNG for the group wasn't so horrid to me, or I would have been tempted to fish for another and sell one. Yeah. Mm. God, you make a pretty penny on it now. Quick question. I think I missed it, though. How do I get... Quick question... In think I missed it ho to I get T to B the data to copy him. I'm a little confused, Dory. Are you asking So to get the data that needs to be copied into the third sheet, you need an add-on that Jack has made and it's on CurseForge. It's called Table Data Collector. Is that do I get the data to be text? By putting it into the appropriate place in the spreadsheet, and then Jack's formula will uh, make it happen. What you need to do, if you've made a copy already, you need to change, like find the color that is your character. So, you know, like blue, the baby blue for mage, pink is paladin, uh, white is priest, purple is warlock, etc., etc. Um, well, you know, that purple is warlock. Um, find the class that you're trying to do and type in your toon name. That's in the 12C test one. Then you need to paste your data into the third tab, which is called test data. Um, but I think you need to make the copy now. Um, rather, if you had the copy before, it won't work anymore. Uh, it won't work because the formula wasn't in all the right places, but I'm just looking now and it looks an awful lot like Jack has, has put the formula everywhere it needs to be. So now is the time to make the copy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jack. That is so generous of you if, for your time to do all this for us. Like, that's just so good of you. Oh, you copy loving it. Fantastic. Wonderful. All right, let's refresh this a couple times. Phenomenal. All right. And where is... Nope, that's wrong. It's under here somewhere. There it is. I can dump that into... See? Nice and cute for filling data. I'm probably going to tweak a few things. I do um, also have an idea. I really like your ideas, Jack. Have I told you that? <laughs> What's your idea? I think I might fix up just a tiny bit of formatting, though. Because it's going to drive me a little bit batty. I'm just, I'm that person. I'm that person. Oh, battle. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, 
I'm still going to use the first one just while I'm still updating because I don't want to switch through my tunes now. It's going to take too long. Um, but this is Wrath. What about going is 61 out of 191 now because I got... Did I get two drops? I think I got two drops. And now it's Druid, Vold of Archibon. Good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> That's formatting. Yeah, it's a little bit silly, isn't it? Like, you, I, I understand it's like if you want that green one to all be green. I, I, I get it. I get it. But screw you. Uh, <laughs> no, I, no, but it's fine. I've, it's, it's an easy fix. Such an easy fix. Um, and it's it's less effort to fix up the formatting later than it is to like copy and paste just form just the you know what I mean like uh, yeah you because you need to click the button yeah so you need to have ATT open and then you click the button ah oh, well done fight congratulations fight against an was so cool it is very cool very cool. That was spoiled milk. <laughs> Bum. Uh, Faye Dunno Dries, Little Mick. Uh, Dory, Thor, and Dan, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Speaking of bonus shit, anyone who got a Twitch DM from me uh, today getting information for your prizes and stuff, uh, I have seen a bunch of DMs come back to me. I have seen a bunch of emails come in, um, and I will respond to you once I've like taken note of that, but I have seen that it's happened. So if you're like worried I didn't get it, I probably did. Um, we're just... Okay, that didn't get me any melee kills. So I'm gonna drop a pally and see how that goes. But yeah, um, I, I did all that and then pretty much immediately went to get ready for stream. So, um, yes, I do have stuff. Um, and I will get there shortly. Uh, so it's supposed to stream is an HD spreadsheet now that just grabs your own data. No, no. Um, Blizzard doesn't let you do that. Um, otherwise, places like Data for Azeroth and stuff would have done it already, and we wouldn't need a spreadsheet. Um, I built a spreadsheet to track ATT stuff that I updated by hand. I plugged my numbers in and stuff manually. Um, Jack has gone through and created an add-on which will pull data if you have all the things open, and then has written some lines of programming in my spreadsheet so that you can paste the extract from his add-on into that and it'll sort the data into the right places. Um, but it's just, it's only classic through Legion um, and it's just transmog. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's everything from, from, but it's, yeah, all the dungeon raid things. It's very specifically the AT Dart spreadsheet I've been using for forever. Uh, it's just upgraded now because Jack is amazing. Um... Uh, baby buffer, take all the time you need. Thank you. Hello, Welsh. You was living in a dream world. I mean, look, it's close to automatic. You do, it just takes a little bit of manual work on your end, but not much at all. Not much at all. Uh, it's an absolutely terrible idea, but I'm going to try it. Do it. Yes. Please don't crash my game. <laughs> or delete my spreadsheet. I, I have, I've trust you. Don't, don't break it. Don't, I mean, break, break your test stuff. That's fine. Um, but don't, 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 don't make my spreadsheet disappear because I really love it a lot. So. <laughs> like terrible ideas. But sometimes they are amazing. Sometimes they are not, but sometimes they are amazing. Terrible ideas, woo, but also panic. Yep, correct. That's exactly it. Uh, Arkebon. All right, while I'm here, let me demonstrate for you how you get your data. Like that. 
that. And paste. And it's updated. Beautiful and perfect. I'm guessing I need all 12 of them updated before the stuff down the bottom will work. And that's it, My all those numbers are entered now. N no more reading, no more counting with fear. I mean, occasionally counting with fear, but no more of that particular counting with fear. <laughs> Press the button, copied it, and pasted it into the test data third column. Nothing changed when I went into 12C test. Character name up top in one of the columns. I did. Uh, is the character name exactly formatted correctly? Spelt right with the capital and all that kind of, like, everything has to be exactly as is. Dungeon we farming now. Ah, uh, Vault of Archivon still. Vault of Archivon still. It'll only update the column for that name as well, Dory. So if you have to scroll across to see it, it won't, like, reshuffle your columns or anything like that. You'll need to go find the column where you put the name and stuff. All 12 reasons for that. Yeah, that's totally fine. Totally fine. Oh, I'm all for automation. We'll miss counting. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, look, I did spend, like, nearly an hour at the start of stream because all my data was out of date. So, like, it took a long time for that to happen. So this is a much smoother experience for watching stream. That's what we want, right? Still all your data in it. It won't be in the first tab. Did you did you make a copy after Okay, so when you when you make a copy, Dory, the whole spreadsheet should have NA 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 everywhere. It should not have my data in it. If it's still got my data in it, it's because you've pulled the copy too early. It should have NAs literally everywhere until you put the data in yourself, until you put your your paste in. That might be what the issue is. You might have you might have an old version. Uh, AT Dart, because it's all the dungeon and raid things. Sorry. <laughs> yes, spreadsheet love. Interesting that that worked with the three on the end. That's really interesting. I've never. S oh no, it's because Dory did it. Never mind. We're good. Bot isn't having a freak out. It's fine. Everything is fine. <sighs> Could you understand though why I was like, what? Yeah, that's hilarious. Good. Great. Yeah, we're back into the round where it's all just Vault of Archibon. Um, and, and Baradon Hold. Um, so make a copy. Yep, up in the up in the uh, file menu, it's make a copy, and it should appear in your own um, your own Google Drive. How much do I can make this? Yes. <laughs> no, I made the copy. We're ignoring the twelve classes step. Correct. That's all my hand entered data. That's all my stuff. I mean, if you wanna if you wanna have a record of like how I was sitting uh, to the as of today, then you're more than welcome to keep it. Um, but it won't help you. <laughs> Everything you're looking for is on 12C test and test data, and apparently now copy of 12C test. Um, so <laughs> my it, it is multiplying. My spreadsheet has a mind of its own. It's multiplying. I've gotten some kind of cramp. Um, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to be back in a second. Run away, little girl. Run away.
Spooky Town. Boogie down. Correct. Okay, good. Uh, let's go. Chest stream, yay! I'll wait till then to make a copy. Look, that might it might take a little while. Um, although honestly, right? Given how easy it is to update all your tunes now, it shouldn't matter if there's a little bit of tinkering and you have to make a new copy because you can just make the new copy and then plug, 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 and you're done. Like, that's it. It was literally the, the longest amount of time that it, like the, the most time consuming part of the whole updating thing is just changing tunes. <laughs> that was ridiculously easy to update Phelan's data. So I think it's probably safe uh, if, if you are keen to see what Jack's tinkering with, it's probably safe to make a copy now. Uh, and I'm sure that Jack will let us know when he's, uh, when he's done. Or when he thinks he's done with, with iteration one. Uh, you didn't work for uh, oh, it's because Boogie got triggered at the same time. Bot can only do one thing at a time. I uh, work now just trying to make it less manual. Let's see. I wasn't hurry one planning. Did you not tonight? Of course, of course. You think? Yeah. Unfortunately, because I was like, wait, where's. And then I saw the Boogie right above it. I'm like, yeah, no, that was why. Yeah. Bot's, uh. Look, the bot's a little bit. It's one track mind. Gotta, gotta give it some time. Oh, thank God. 69 out of 227. Nice. Mm, and now it's uh, Hunter, but Baradon Hold. Baby um, da 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 da, baby da 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 da. So I'm gonna grab all of that and update that. And then I'm gonna half back. I'm gonna switch to Fear so I can port to Barad to Tolbarad real quick and just see who's in control. Rather than getting all the way out there on a tune that isn't able to instantly port. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. fish. Kill the body thing. Yes. Okay. I'm so happy for you. That's fantastic. Okay, while I'm here, That's not wanted. So excited. Uh, all right, cool. And now we go. 
It's not Brad to see who's in charge. And then we take a hunter there from whichever faction. <clears> Horde. <throat> Phenomenal. Get out. Fantastic, Dory. Brilliant. Hello, Lucky. Your stream is going well. Yeah, look, we've had a couple of hiccups, but we've also had a couple of fantastic developments. So, um, yeah, overall, pretty good. Pretty good. Hope that you are well, Lucky. Hope that you're well. I'm going to have another bean because I need to because I'm, I'm going to get through these. Of coconut. Is it coconut though? I think it's coconut. I can't, it is. I really can't tell. I don't know, that was weird. I don't like that one. In the hospital, yay! Oh, so glad to be in my own bed. Absolutely, I know the feeling. Congratulations. Living honestly a step up from how I'm so glad to hear. I'm so glad to hear. Well done on the improvement. Welcome home. Nah. Ugh. All right, ATT. That was it fun. It was so much fun. We spent eight hours and fifteen minutes fishing for a strange goop, but I got it. No, you have to try on some pieces for them to actually go in your collection. Correct. Yes, BOEs usually. Uh, I think that's up to date. <laughs> it could have been. I'm so happy for you, though, Kay. Good evening, Zarin. Welcome back. How are you going? Hope you are wonderfully well. I want to go to Razorfin. I want to go to Arokabon. Score one for sheer stubbornness and spite. Correct. Stubborn people, best people? I think so. Oh no, I'm going to Tolbarad. God damn it. Oh, that was close. All right. Whew. We're fine. Everything's fine. No one seems community tries to better RNG. We need like a hall of fame, like, you know, ranking of who, who made the most casts. Phew! Oh, Lord. <clears throat> you. I've been sneezing a lot today. I think I'm making another one. Achoo! Oh, goodness. And they're big ones, too. They're not just like little whatevers. Oh, oh God. Barad and Hot. Wait. 
Garden holds is 14 out of 41. You know what? I'm going to do the run anyway. Because I don't want to do what's next on the list. <laughs> it's in you. I know if you might be able to help me a little bit. I have a fancy schmancy place to take the missus for the 40th in May in your neck of the woods. Could I bother you to shoot me some suggestions when you have a moment? No rush. Absolutely. What I will get you to do, Zarin, is shoot me a DM on Discord. Let me know um, favorite cuisines, if there are any. Uh, dietary requirements, if there are any. Not like, um, just to make sure, because I know like some of the places I like going have like only one vegetarian option or something. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not super great for that sort of thing. So if there are any of those kind of big, like vego, vegan, pescatarian, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I'll see if I can't find you a list with a couple of suggestions for each of the, like the favorite cuisine types. Um, Cause I love talking about food. <laughs> Here's a cathedral again. Worse. Well, technically not worse because I can actually farm it, but I don't want to. <laughs> it's one of the ones I will be pleased when I'm 12 of 12, 100%. Fair enough. Steam Vault, no. But you can keep guessing. I'm, I like, I want to see who can guess what I hate. Underbog, no, not Underbog. Underbog's actually looking pretty good across the board at the moment, which is really nice. Especially thing you said, World's Bosses. Is that right? Correct. Yep. There are world bosses for each, well, not all the expansions, but for a fair few of them. Seat. No, I actually don't mind seat. Um, but there is, of course, one more. I've only got three of the four uh, sets, so I still need to do that whole Argus storyline on one particular. Yeah, so look, it's going to get, it's going to get funny when we get to leather for, for seat, but um, not seat. Good guess though. I have disliked it intensely. I like the dungeon. See, the dungeon's great. Getting the ensemble's a pain in the butt. Headley, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Fianati. I hope you're doing well. I should Google a bit, but trying to pick somewhere off. Little to no reviews is hard. Best place is a little hole in the wall. Absolutely. And they don't show up on, on Google Maps because they haven't bothered to pay for a square pin or whatever. Yeah, I know the feeling. But yeah, definitely happy to help. I have quite a few favorite restaurants around uh, around Brisbane uh, area. Uh, great steak deal at Le Bubbles. I have heard everything I have heard about Le Bubbles is either heckin' trash or really good. And I have a feeling it's heavily dependent on how you like your steak, whether or not you enjoyed it or not. Because what I have been told is that Lay Bubbles does one steak cooked one way really, really well. But if you want any sort of, like if you want a deviation, like if you want it more cooked or less cooked or any other type of, it's fucking trash. It does one very specific thing very, very good and everything else is terrible. From what I have heard. I've never been, personally. This is just me going from other people's experiences. So obviously that could be very, very, very different. Um, but that is what I have been told. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so I'm staying on the hunter. We are going to Nomergon. And I don't want to, but we're gonna. Uh, what's gonna be the best, but I think Dollar and Hearthstone's gonna be the best, but. Uh, I saw a place called Black Hide. Looks decent from what I saw on the menu. I've heard good things about Black Hide. Is that, wait. Is that the one in the treasury? In the casino? Or like attached to treasury casino? They only opened, not, okay, I'm going to say recently, but it was before COVID. Um, I 
Actually, no, they've been there for like three or four years now. Um, so I'm um, Black Hide is a is a I think it's a steakhouse. Um I have a bit of experience with the treasury stuff. Like it like the stuff at like all the stuff at treasury. Um, and it's all pretty good. It's all pretty good. Um, you definitely get what you pay for. Uh, so, like, the, um, the, the, the cheaper, like, the buffet end of stuff, it's a good buffet, but it's, it's a buffet, and, you know, the, the price is right, the price is really good, there's a good selection of stuff like that, but it's, it's still, it's a buffet, you gotta get what you get, um, and they've got a couple of fine dining that are really nice. Um, uh, is Fat Noodle still... Fat Noodle's phenomenal. Fat Noodle is really, really good. Um, okay. Oh, more citrus is better, of course. Violet Hold. Nah, no ma. No ma. Went there with the family once a while back. It wasn't bad. It's not my favorite steak place. Yeah, my my favorite steak place is in Sydney, which is not helpful, so. <laughs> like, you can get a good steak at plenty of places, but, um... Is it actually? I wonder if it's still there. Ooh, have they changed? They might have changed management. Uh, yep, yeah, so they have, yeah, 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 they have, they've changed, man, they've changed the executive chef. Um, but this guy's not bad either. Black. In Sydney. It's called Black Bar and Grill. It, originally when it opened, it was Black by Ezard. Um, because Ezard was the executive chef. And now it's Danny Karam. Who's, yeah. That place is Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um. It was my bag, it wasn't bad. It's not my favorite state place, I think so. I seem to remember them mentioning that on the website. When I went to Brisbane for work, I went with my mate who is an ex Brisbane Brisbaneian. Got the couple pack for lunch, which was two salads, bread, two steaks with three sauces, and bottomless chips, dessert each, and a bottle of bubbles for 120. Nice. Stuff was really good, yeah, for sure. Ordered my steak rare. Friend had well done. Steaks were decent size, not fatty. Had good general marbling. Okay. The only people there at lunch during the week. Interesting. Maybe that's maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe when they're busier, they just can't handle the rush. Interesting. Well, that's really good. I'm so glad you had a great experience, though, Sika. I'm just going out to eat. To bed. We'll do, Dory. We'll do. We'll see you soon. See you soon. What are we talking about? Food. <laughs> Surprising nobody. Oh, quest. Okay, yep. I didn't realize I hadn't done the, the quest in here on mail. That explains it. Daylight's burning. And zone drops. Meat and wine co by chance. No, chain of Melbourne camera too. Yeah. Um, I had a friend who um, bartended there. I think it was because he he bartended there when it was called whatever it was called first, and then they then they changed the the restaurant changed to Meat and Wine Co, uh, and he stuck around. I'm pretty sure from memory. Um, so I never actually went there for the restaurant, but I did go there for the bar. Um, because he was he, he I'm assuming still is a phenomenal bartender. He's the kind of guy, like, when, whenever we'd invite everyone around to have, like, when I was living in Sydney, uh, I'd invite people around and have house parties, like, a lot. We had a lot of house parties. I was in uni. It's fine. Uh, and, like, a couple of years after uni. But because um, my partner and I at the time had our own place and everyone else was in share houses, we were, the, like, with the go-to place. And we had a decently sized apartment as well with, like, a proper lounge area and stuff. 
Um, so everyone had come around and we had all these themed dress up parties and all sorts. It was great. I loved it. Um, and whenever he, like whenever people would come around, they'd bring a bottle of whatever they had in the house, even if it was like partially drunk. We didn't care. Like just bring something and we can we can all have a drink sort of thing. So a lot of people ended up bringing spirits or liqueurs or whatever. And so what? And then they'd get too drunk to remember to take it with them to when they left. Uh, so we ended up with the the booze cupboard. Uh, and every time we had a party, we would just pull out all the bottles out of the, the booze cupboard. And some of them would only have this much in the bottom. Some of them would be almost a full bottle just, just and just line them up underneath. Because we had one of those kitchens that had like the little uh, like ledge on it. I, can't, I think people call it a breakfast bar, but it's too bloody high. You can't do anything with it. Um, but yeah, so we'd pull all the bottles out and we'd line them up in the kitchen. And the idea was that people could just kind of go in and grab whatever they wanted. Um, except that this guy he couldn't help himself every single party we'd beg him not he's like no don't like come spend time with us it's okay you're not at work it's all right but he loved doing it so so much he would always end up in the kitchen and people would kind of they'd end up going up to our kitchen counter as though it was a bloody bar and he'd be like so what, what are you in the mood for and they're like oh i don't know so, and they're like okay what what's your favorite fruit or what's your favorite? What's your favorite ice cream from when you were a kid? Or just all these little random questions, and then he'd pick the dribs and drabs of whatever we had and mix up a cocktail. It was oh, such ta you know you know how we talk about Jack and his programming skill. This this guy was just like that, but with cocktails. He could make anything taste good. The cheapest, shittiest vodka you could ever imagine would end up tasting like mana from the heavens when he mixed it with a couple things. Like it, oh, I don't know how he did it, but he was amazing. And I imagine still is, um, but this is God. We're talking like seven or eight years ago now. Good Lord, I'm old. Uh, yeah, anyway, good. Moving back to the state, the second I was one a friend made was perfect, awesome. Yeah, from uh, Black by Azad, back when it was called that, it's now called uh, Black Bar and Grill, I think it was, it was said. Um, uh, $120 three different pieces of Wagyu. They were all about this sort of size each, three of them. It was designed to be shared between two people. And they were just, oh my Lord. Like, I, I would hesitate to even call them steaks because it just, it was such a different experience than any other steak I'd ever had before, but they were amazing absolutely amazing uh best piece of meat that i've ever had best piece of meat i've ever had uh wait what am i trying to do still trying to kill melee units all right let's try the centurion see if that can get it <clears throat> um Hi, you're a tall one. are you um Something else in the Sydney one. My husband is killer at stakes. All right, we're headed to Fyodor in November. Oh, which I'm very excited about. I know a good pizza place in Melbourne. Lucky cock. Exactly what my place was like. Yep. Yeah, it's a bad that I wouldn't share that. The the steak. Oh no, not at all. Not at all. Um, we we shared it because we were. I. Huh. Awesome. I can't like I can yes I it's one of the one of the zone drops, amazing, brilliant, um but no not at all like it is one hundred percent up to you what you do with your food and of course your money like not everyone would like it's oh god that's ridiculous I'd never spend one hundred and twenty dollars on sixty grams of steak or one hundred and twenty grams of steak or whatever it was, and that's totally reasonable like it is one hundred percent up to each individual person what they would be willing. To, to spend on on a piece of on a meal you know uh, that was a birthday that was a very special birthday um so we did the thing um but my favorite cuisine is Japanese um the person whose birthday it was it was steak steak was steak was his jam um but mine is Japanese Mine is Japanese, and so I, I wonder if it's still, yes, it still exists. Sorry, that was very loud. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, Sokyo. Sokyo. Uh, 
Uh, it's also at the casino in Sydney. Um, but... Very expensive. Uh, but just, I mean, that's where I went uh, when I graduated from uni. Um, and I had my, my parents come up to visit and attended my graduation, all that kind of stuff. We, as a, as a family, went to Sokyo for, for dinner and it was, oh, I, I think, I think my father just had <laughs> all sorts of feelings and thoughts and yeah, <laughs> he loved the experience. And that's, that's the thing. Like there are a lot of people who just see food as, you know, like food is, is life-giving. You have, you have, you eat. You put food in you, it's fuel, and on you get with your day sort of thing. Um, but for me, food is, it's ritual, it's art, it's uh, its to be shared, it's an experience, it, all that kind of, so yeah, I'm i am so passionate about food. Um, and good food. Good food. What did some A5 Japanese Kobe once and it up? It was amazing, something I wouldn't do regularly or else I would be the poor. I mean, yes, I, yes. <laughs> That stuff is expensive, um, but it's it's worth it. Like to some people, obviously. Like I probably wouldn't do it multitudes of times, but you know, if you've got like a birthday or an anniversary or like a, a special occasion, like a promotion or a new job or or you know some kind of other big life milestone that you feel deserves to be celebrated, and you are somebody who really enjoys food and celebrates food as a big part of your life then why not marry those things? It, these, these are things that do not happen very often. And so I feel like it's it's okay to, to do that kind of stuff. Uh, at least that's like, I can justify it in that way for myself. Not everyone will be able to, and that's that's all right. No judgment here. Um, and not everyone here might be as into food as I am. And that's okay too. Hey, brilliant. Another new thing. Love Japanese, went to Japan in school senior year. Got the food was amazing. Look get now to do the murder, yas. Go, Kay! Early congratulations. Yeah, I have not been to Japan. Um, my 30th birthday present from my parents was uh, a trip to Japan. It was cash that I was to then use to, because I wasn't sure at the time, like I, I wasn't 100% sure what was going on with a few bits and pieces in my life. So I didn't know exactly, they wanted to give me the tickets, um, but I didn't know when I could book in for because there were a few things that were a bit kind of up in the air at the time. So they said, okay, well, we're gonna give you this money, but it is not for bloody rent and stuff. You need to spend this on it. I thought they were other people. I'm like, what the hell are other people doing in my, in my dungeon? It's my pets. Good. Um, so they said, here's the money. Spend it on bloody tickets, you you silly numpty. Um, and then less than a month later, we were in lockdown because COVID had kicked off in Australia. <laughs> so I, yeah, that's, yeah. Mm, interesting. Be seeing you. Get there. We'll get there. Use the parachute. I've defeated Viscous Fallout. Now I need to go this way. Mm, food expensive experience is definitely my thing. Yes, right, Seeker? Like, and look, again, it's if it's not your experience, like if food experiences are not your thing, that's totally okay. But I do definitely feel like I seem to attract people to stream who are very, like, similar to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, no judgment if it's not. Like, everyone has their things that they love. That are, that are a big part of who they are and stuff. And that's totally cool. It's what makes us all different and unique and amazing. This breach be, yeah, so I spend big money on clothes, jewelry, overseas trips. Some people spend every single last cent of their disposable income on their computers, on their game collections, on on models or on a, a, a bicycle, like like literally a bike, you know, and, and the, the um, Lycra gear that goes with it and everything, or, or a home gym or like a car, um, whether or not it's an old car that they've restored themselves by hand or uh, a new shiny car that's, you know, top of the line and souped up and all the fun stuff. I don't know, is that the right word still? I, I'm I, I'm not a car person, I don't have a license, but no shade to those who are. Like, do you know, and all of those things are amazing and wonderful. Like your disposable income is yours to enrich your life with. Whatever that means, whatever you enjoy, whatever brings you joy in life, 
that is what your disposable income is for. And I would never, ever, like, I remember I was sitting uh, at a, uh, I think it was a birthday lunch for somebody. And the birth, I was sitting next to the birthday person and one of their family members was sitting across from them. And they were having a discussion. I can't remember. I think it was about makeup or something like that. And she was talking about this this beautiful eyeshadow palette that she bought herself with some birthday money. And he was sitting there like, oh, pff, you know, I can't, I can't believe you spent so like you spent a hundred and twenty dollars on on what like a like a palette with a bunch of like powders and stuff. Like what? Why? What does that? What does that bring you? What is? And and I noticed, you know, the lacquer shirt he was wearing. And I said, so do you do you cycle? And he's gone, oh yeah. I said, how much did your bike cost? And he's gone, oh, like three grand. And I'm like, why would you spend three grand on something you can buy for 250 bucks? And he's like, oh, you don't understand. I'm like, yeah, and you don't understand makeup. <laughs> this is a passion. Like, it's a, you don't have to understand it. All you need to do is look at her face and see how happy and how she lights up when she talks about this beautiful thing that she bought for herself. It doesn't matter. And he was like, oh. Mm -hmm. you know standard stuff but like it it goes it goes for anything and everyone like I don't understand car stuff I don't understand uh like like models and and I don't understand uh retro console collecting and and even though it's gaming I I, I don't understand that stuff I don't get it I don't need to <laughs> it doesn't matter it doesn't matter as long as people are enjoying themselves that's what matters uh, okay, so Electrocutioner is dead. I gotta go down this way. Do I still have my... Oh, no, there's another... No, that's a food crate. Do I have my... My safe parachute. Uh, so did you have my 30th? Yeah, I haven't gone yet, because I can't, because... COVID. <laughs> uh... Next year, we're in Japan for that, assuming COVID allows us. Honestly, I think, like, I mean, I say I think by next year we should be fine, but I mean, who would have thought that this shit would last this long to begin with? So I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not. Um, yeah. Ah, yes, the panini is the money safely stored, of course. I'm like, I didn't get cash, if that's what you're asking. Um. <laughs> Why would anyone store their money unsafely? Ah, uh, I need to lose a few kilos because there's no way my head ass is fitting into Zakaya. <laughs> oh dear. I spend my savings on biscuits. Brilliant. I hope your biscuits bring you joy, Berg. You guys have savings? Look, I'm trying to. I have, I do have some. Uh, at the moment, all of my disposable income is being spent on my mouth uh, and not food, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> wait, did I, did I do that? This is ready for turn in, but I'm really, really confused. It's fine. I think that must've taken out a few steps of that quest. This economy. I mean, biscuits are good. I can't have any more. Make you be hungry. Sorry. If you don't understand, I'll spend money on surfing magazines where I live nowhere near a beach. Maybe you wouldn't spend the money on the surfing magazines if you did near live a beach. And did live near a beach. Because, like, you'd just go to the beach. Like, that's fine. It doesn't matter if you're interested in the sport. Just because you don't... Like, I mean... Just be... Even if you don't participate in the sport, how many people who watch the bloody Super Bowl and all the other games religiously, how many of them do you think actually play it? It doesn't matter. At least I don't think it matters. If you enjoy it, bugger it. Ah, uh, just as you're doing number for ATT, hope I'll shop pilot as well. Oh, that's for you. Be a long time. Uh, this is a, this is a, a male tune, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, do you have it in a place where you cannot be tempted to spend it on rent or whatever? Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm, I'm actually really bloody good with my money. Um, 
I'm I'm like really good with my money. Really, really, really good with my money. Um, I've received uh, a few lump sum gifts over the years that have had specific purposes and none of them have been touched um, because the specific purpose hasn't been able to be fulfilled yet. Um, which is why I like started or not not fresh like I put I like when we had the um the, when the pandemic kicked off here we had job keeper which was a, an amount that was paid to employers that was in like the, the idea was that you passed it on to the employees to keep the, even if they weren't working to keep them in the job so that you could afford to bring them back once the economy opened back up again and once we could do stuff it was you know hospitality was a big benefactor and all that kind of stuff um and I got that payment. Uh, and because I work part-time, um, the amount that my company was paid for me was more than what I was usually earning. And so I got a pay rise for that period. Um, and all of that money got put away. All of it, every cent, uh, except the first paycheck. The first paycheck, the extra got spent on yummy food. And then the rest of it, all of it got put away. Right. Everything, every last piece, uh, every last dollar. Um, so, that was the start. That was the start of my dental fund. I thought that that was going to be able to cover everything, but then when I went back, it turns out other issues had happened, which jacked the price up like a lot, like two and a half times more than what it was originally. Um, but yeah, and I, I didn't. I haven't spent a cent of that. Uh, the dental money is is there. That's that's for dentistry. Um, the Japan money is for Japan, uh, and there's a few other lump sums that are that's for them. That is 100% for them and only for them. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really good with my money. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to, you know, um, get, get all the dentistry stuff done. And so far, so good. Um, so far, so good. I haven't had to take out any loans yet. Um, which is, which is really, really good. I'm on track to be able to pay all of it without taking out a single loan. That's 23 grand worth of dental work. Um, on track, not done, but on track. We're getting there. Um, so that's a pretty good feeling. Yay, congrats, Kay! Well done! Yay! Uh, accountant for a business sphere, just saying. I'm not qualified, unfortunately. I am an assistant really? accountant at work, um, but I don't have any accounting qualifications. Um, so unfortunately, like, I'm, I'm a great bookkeeper really, really good bookkeeper, but I can't submit your taxes. I can't, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, big difference between an accountant and a bookkeeper. Um, I, I also don't have any training in doing things like budgets and stuff like that, but, um, I can, like, if somebody else sets a budget, I can give you feedback on where you're sitting and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, you have a great day now. that's what I do. That's my job. It's my day job. Uh, I want TJ Friday signature glazed chicken strips. My money goes, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fire, I don't blame you. Okay, Noma, now nine of 17. I was five of 17. So we're now nine of 17. What? Oh, that's an un. That can't be right. Holy shit. Guys, we've hit 30%. My lowest dungeon is now 30%. Oh my gosh. What on earth are you doing, Jack? <laughs> I just clicked over to the copy just to see what was going on and... <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna, oopsie. Gonna dump the dungeon of raid stuff. Plonk it in here. Yeah, ignore that. <laughs> I was, it's cool though. I don't know what's it, well, I don't know what's going on in there, but it looks like it, you know, um, because it has all the, 
you know when you see like houses that are like in construction like under construction and you see like the frames of the walls of like the wood kind of within the cuts along the sides and stuff like that and then you see like a pile of bricks over there and a pile of uh, of um of uh like tiles there and and like a sack of cement over here and all that kind of stuff when i clicked over and there's like all the like the a's and b's and and then this part's done and there's some colors there and there's some like scaffolding that it kind of looks like construction site is that weird that my brain does that maybe it is i don't know but it kind it looks it looked my first my instinctual response was that it looks like a construction site and i feel like that's accurate it's just programming construction not house construction Jackie, you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> and I get that. Awesome. Awesome. Right, so the next thing on my list is a uh, paladin in Temple. Temple of Anchorage. Um, at 30%. 30% is my lowest dungeon or raid. Holy I'm cow, that is... Paladin. Uh... That is a hell of a... Uh, hell of a... What's it? Milestone. Something, something up to building code. Yes! I love it. Oh, I love it. Is fear weird? Yes. All right. Visitus. How does a paladin deal with Visitus? I imagine that the smashy should be pretty easy. Everyone's weird in our own special way. With luck, angrily. Good. Frost oil. Oh, I could do frost oil. Can Pallies use the... <clears throat> oh no, that's a YouTube guide. I don't want that. Bugger off. Managed to do it with Holy Avenger. Empowered seals and a 2.6 speed one-hander. The increased haste from using judgment with seal of righteousness and increased HP generation from Holy Avenger is enough to deliver enough melee strikes to shatter him while he's frozen. Oh, this makes him freezing from to shatter. Yes, I know. I know. Thank you. Easy word or something. You required number of hits on visitors. That's the hard part. Yeah, the freezing in part is easy. Um, it's the... It's the breaking in part. It feels a bit old. Uh, yes, it is from 2015. <laughs> um, do I have the endothermic? I do. So the endothermic blaster works. Endothermic Blaster works to cool him down, um, so I don't need Frost Oil or anything like that. Um, Stay a while and listen. <laughs> uh. A two point six blade. Pallies can't dual wield, can they? It's three point six, so. Ah, 
I'm not a paladin. Uh. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Dan. Zankerman, indeed, Seeker. Indeed. Pallies can't do a wield, can they? No, you cannot do a wield. Okay. And the Touch of the Void, that casts, that's not melee, so that won't break. Hits is it in? I actually have maybe this one. No, how do I not have it? But it's an archaeology trinket. Uh, maybe I deleted it. Uh, okay, anyone else have any suggestions on how to smash visitors? I don't think I have any of the trinkets that will pop a, um... a, a helper. Okay, that can we use daggers? I don't know how to Oh, it's no, it's not, it's not about being prot. It's about getting 30 hits in 30 seconds to shatter him. Ah, potential customer. I can't wear a dagger. Like frozen, I'm done with the frozen. Frozen is easy. I have the endothermic blaster. Um, that is supposed to 
um, that should freeze him. According to most of these comments, there was one comment that said that no longer works, but um, oh, here we go. If anyone's struggling in nine one five or doesn't want to spend all their time camping a rare for a trinket, here's how I did it as a retribution paladin. <laughs> Uh, equip Battle Worn Thrash Blade, which is what I've already done. Uh, buy, oh. Buy Ghost Iron Dragonling from the AH was 2k as your first trinket. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least Ghost two Iron. Dragonling. If you find anything exotic, bring, bring it. it to me. Done. Um, as your first trinket. Equip either Captain's Badge or Rhea's Last Egg. Both can be acquired faster than waiting on rares. Either get quick rep done or do the quest if you haven't yet. Ugh. Buy Drums of Deathly Ferocity, Tenebrous for Crown Rose Aspect, any other haste consumables you can find. Uh, Paladin plus Crusade. The old Crusade talent should work. All right, so uh, consecration. It has to be melee hits. You got to shatter him. Doesn't work with spells. Uh, hello, nurse. Welcome back. Does it count as a hit? Yeah, it's melee only. You got to freeze him with frost damage, and then break him with thirty melee hits in thirty seconds. Um. Talent into Zeal, Fires of Justice, Seraphim, and Crusade is what this says. That's for the haste. Okay. All right, let's head over and at least get Kraken because we've got limited time to do Temple. Um, I struggle with palette, yeah. He sleeps the night, Seeker. We'll see you next time. All right, I'm gonna take some notes on how I'm doing this as well. Right, so. Mm. Have a worn thrash blade. Ghost iron dragon ring. Turn into feel eyes of justice. Thermic Blaster to Freeze. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Just punch him or something. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Ah, Dan, thank you so much for the biddies. Much appreciated. This one takes this to fear the world. Paladin meant look, you. Ah, mozzarella sticks. Amazing. Is he right with Crusade? Honestly, should be enough if you time it right. Okay. Okay. So what... What would I need to pop? Zeal is a passive, as is Fires of Justice. Seraphim is an instant that gives you 8% haste and some other stuff. And then Crusade replaces Avenging Wrath. So how does that work exactly? Come on, light beginning Crusade increases damage done by and haste by 3%. Can that does that stack with Seraphim? Like can I pop both of them? They stack. Okay, cool. So 
I'm going to get him down to 1%. I'm going to stand under him. I'm going to pop my endothermic blaster and blast him until he's frozen. I'm then going to pop my trinket. I'm going to pop Seraphim and Crusade and then just smack it or just let it go ham. Okay. It not just right click and let the white damage do it. Like I actually have to keep hitting stuff. Yeah. I'm really sorry if these are stupid questions. I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, Fade, Brick, Zam, Elminda, Thor, and Dan, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. You need to keep hitting? Okay, cool. Good. One more battle. Ooh. Oh, that is two super loyalty boss. Oh, we're in the last page. We're gonna go, we're gonna go for that. Like, I know there's a skin chest down there, but we're gonna go up for this one. You're a caster without telling people you're a caster. <laughs> Actually, what level is that paladin? 51. I got my melee kills. Brilliant. This stupid question is the one never asked. Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Is it Kyrian? It no. I haven't gone to Shadowlands yet. It is it is nothing. <laughs> it is a babby tune. Questions only stupid people. Look. Look. When I get around to doing it. Yeah, this is why I'm keeping notes in Temple of Anchorage. I've got a note with like how, and every time I find a new tune and I'm up against it, to make notes of how I killed it um, so that I don't have to do all the research every bloody time. Whereas busy and flying. Yay, fantastic, Kaz. Well done. Well done, well done, Kieran. This is a lot easier. Look, I'm, I'm sure it would. But that's okay. We'll, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. And if not, we'll figure it out. Ah, oh, Divine Toll equals up to four judgments. I don't know what that means. Does the flying require achievements on every character? I would assume not. I'd assume once you unlock the achievement on one tune, it'll unlock for the rest of your account. That's how flying has always worked previously. I don't see a reason why they would change it now. I feel like that would be silly. Na, 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 na. So sorry, it has to be soloed for the melee hits. No, not at all. You can go in there with a team of people and do it. I just don't wanna. I want to be able to do it by myself. <laughs> I, I don't like relying on other people to be able to do old world content. I like to be able to be self-sufficient. Um, and so I'm, I'm learning how to do it. If I can't, then absolutely I'll pull people in. Uh, but then they might steal my transmog. So, <laughs> you see my issue. Um, it is for account, not for character. Got a rep grind for BFA Fly. You'll get there, you'll get there. Drink your in like five minutes if necessary. Nah. Nah, I'll be good. Um, if I have to skip it for tonight and work it out later, then I will. Um, I just, I'd like to be able to do it now. Uh, but, you know, oh, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> I'm gonna pop on Ashbringer for now because it's stronger. There we go. Now, Prot is the one that lets me AOA things a bit easier, so let's do that. You need Judgment, Blade of Justice, Crusade of Strike to build and Temple's Verdict to spare. Can I have GSE to do all of that? <laughs> is that okay? It's fast enough. Oh, it should be. I can mash it pretty hard. Oh. 
Get rid of the wow, super loud. Oh no, I mean, I'll cast a few spells probably. Ah, uh, right, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. This will be awkward. That's right, I'll I'll set it up when we get there. I'll I'll set it all up. I'll um yeah. I should be okay with Crusade. Alright. Oof, I'm nervous. stuff with my prop belly. That's so cute. Would you like a green resonating crystal? <laughs> All right, Scaram. Wait, what do you mean red Karaji battle tank? Oh, it's to everything sticked up. It's a completed thing. Good. Bloody scarabs and like I know. Let's close off the zone drops because either we're gonna get them or we're not. Oh, you little shit down there, get your ass back here. Here are world drops, zone drops. That's why it hit. should be well over one hit per second. Well, we'll see, shan't we? Oh, look at blue one. We shall see. That was Scarum. We got something. Next boss up is Silithid Royalty. Go fast, quick. Consecrate hits count as well. No, it's a spell. Greetings. Go with honor, friend. Here we go. Green. The alliance. Crown quest. Quest. What brings you here? Quest. Wait, quest. May the stars guide you. Honor, friend. The gods. Reeves. Be careful. I'll deal with all of you later. Let's go kill the Silithids. It goes fast slowly, but it is quick. You get what I mean? Yes. Maybe not make me. That's okay. Not a worry. Not a worry at all. <clears throat> Seeing this jelly in this instance is freaking weird. That scripts. Ah, uh, that's okay, Jack. Can you do scripts in a Google Sheet, or is that no bueno? It's bouncy. It is. It bounces, and it makes a little squelch noise as it goes as well, which is just the cutest. So, yeah. Uh, standard stream days are six hours. So we're close. We're close. I get more when it's swimming through the air, but bouncing is cool. Yeah. And I love how the plates on the side kind of expand and contract as well with the rest of it. it just it just moves nicely. Uh, okay, so I want to kill them last because I have more of a chance of getting bonus stuff, so I actually need to hit them individually. Oh, that- oh no, that does that. Oops, I forgot about that. What? How? The Consecrate went on the roof. Yeah. Still nothing. That's okay. That's fine. 
Alright, Battle Guard Sartre. This hit this area makes me feel like the scope in a proctology's ew, Zeran! I get you though. <laughs> I get you. But if this is what the inside of you looks like, you need that exam. May, may I say. Uh, <laughs> problems. Health problems. What's to make stuff don't make fair? Whoa, hello. Whee! Yeah, that's fair, Jack. Don't, like, don't, don't stress yourself. Like, if it's fun and a little project or whatever, then go for it, but, like, don't put yourself out. I think what we have is absolutely amazing, and God, it makes life so much easier. Agreed. If you got bugs up in there, maybe, maybe get some help. This is you probably shouldn't, yeah. What do you mean the insides shouldn't look like an old god? Correct. Correct. Unless you are an old god, in which case it's probably normal. Might need a different, uh, a different specialist for, for that, though. <clears throat> oh, this is the boss, isn't it? Good. So Satura gave me something. Very nice. It's probably normal. Yeah, look, I, I don't actually know. I could be quite wrong. Do you PvP much? No. Little to none. Very rarely, like this Friday, we're going to do some classic Ashram. Um, because there are some achievements in there I still need. Uh, but very rarely. Very, very rarely. See, it's kind of those bugs. It's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. No, Doc, their features, yep. Yeah. Not bugs, features. Here we go, Fenchris. Hey! A piece of gear that I needed. Alright, it's visitors' time. Moment of truth. Yes, yes, they are. Uh, there's stuff, their macros that I didn't bother picking out a, uh, a thing for, and I didn't put the uh, show tooltip line in them either, because I didn't really care. Okie dokie. So you reckon my GSE macro should be fine? I need to switch to rat. <clears throat> Uh, bar the button. No. Um, we're gonna put on the battle worn thrash blade. We're gonna take off the shield. We're gonna put on the ghost iron dragonling, and then also pop it on the bars so that I can pop it. We have crusade. We have seraphim. <laughs> 
I, oof, I'm nervous. Uh, prediction. I, I genuinely have no idea. Um, Jack was saying I need to build something and then... It should be okay with Crusade. Okay. So I need to build Polypower to be able to use Seraphim. What's my, what's my builder? Wait, I am waiting. <laughs> I am waiting. Is that not a two-hander? No, it's not. Because the speed of the two-handers are too slow. They're too slow. TV with it, so no Crusader stacks. I don't know what that means. Uh, so use Endothermic Blast to freeze boss, use drums, haste talents like Seraphim and Crusade and your trinket, spam Crusader Strike on your physical damage ability if not ret. Uh, collect loot. That's literally all I have to do is apparently spam Crusader Strike. Strength wind weapon. Stamina. It's neither. It's a it's a um, heirloom sword. Because speed. Okay. Why would I want to use a hunting gear? Yep. Go prot then. Why? Does all this still work as like Seraphim and Crusade? That like this whole comment that I have is literally for a ret pally. Spend any but I don't need to build and spend. Enough. I just need to hit faster. That's it. Thank you, Dan, for the biddies. This is not about doing any damage or spending holy. It's not. It's not about any of that. It's just hit fast. That's it, literally. Because we need spent holy power to work. No, all it's asking for is the ha the three percent haste for twenty five seconds. That's it. According, like. The, the, according to this, right? I mean, it does have a couple of other things. Like, it, that's why it wants zeal, fires, adjust to seraphim, and crusade, because the seraphim is going to give me the eight percent haste, and then crusade will give me th another three percent haste, so eleven percent haste. And then I've got a trinket. the The ghost iron will hit as well, so that's giving me extra hits per second. Spam crusader strike or your physical damage ability, if not red, collect loot. That's all I need to do according to this. I wrote this because I spent a lot of time sitting on rares that weren't dropping trinkets that were mentioned in other comments, so I found easier ones to get and realized how valuable the heirloom is, even sacrificing Blade of Justice usage. Hope it helps. You betray your friends. No, it's fine. Try nothing. Uh, what is the cooldown on this? 30 minutes. All right, I'm going to give this a go. If it fails, it's fine. I'm getting way too close to when I should be ending the stream, and I've got a dentistry appointment at literally 9 in the morning. So let's let's give this a crack and see how we go. So, yeah. Let's get you down to 1%. I'm just not going to spend anything for it because I want to make sure I don't bugger anything up. <laughs> Do that. Get up the holy power. And then we're going to pop. 
pop Endemic Blaster. I was like, this is not doing anything, but yes, it is. Four, five. That freezing up. One, two, three, four. This should be it. Trinket pop? I can hear it. I think I can hear something hitting. Oh, alright. That's right. Visitus looks ready to shatter. It got close, just not close enough. That's right. I'll figure it out another time. Uh, so I think I do need something just a little bit extra hasty. Um, it does say drums, haste talents, etc. So if I can get like a haste potion or something, that should work. That's right. It did get close. Visitors looks ready to shatter. So I was only a few hits off. Next time. Okay. To sleep. No worries, Diz. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Some haste cogs to your trinket. Haste cogs, huh? Oh, cogwheel socket. Yeah, that might help. How? How many? Like, how much haste are the cogs gonna give me though, compared to how much they're gonna cost? Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. <laughs> I'm in combat, it's not gonna it's not gonna let me. Switch back to pro for the rest of this. That's right, I'll figure it out. Thank you for the help though, guys. Like, seriously appreciate it. Yeah, unfortunately, like, slowing the weapon hits down by another whole second would- it-, it I'm not sure that would have, uh... Helped. Maybe I will try it on prot next time and just see if we can get the hits going. Yeah, yeah things are working. That's okay. That's all right. Moral support is much appreciated. Yeah, it's a bit of a so that's a really interesting. It used to be completely impossible to solo that boss. You needed pretty much a full raid team um, because of the number of hits required over how many times, like how long. Uh, but they changed it to require like a tenth of what it originally did, so that people could actually solo it. Um, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Uh, it is a bit tricky and there are some classes, like on my mage for example, easy. I roll frost spec, I pop icy veins and lust, and I smack it with a 1.8 speed dagger and it falls over so quickly. I, I spam ice lance to freeze it and I pop all my cooldowns and I, I stab, 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 li literally. And it's super, super quick. Um, but there are a lot of classes that don't have any frost spells. And then on top of that, like, even if they're a melee class, that doesn't mean they can hit it fast enough to get one melee hit per second out. Um, you do need, like, finicky things to, to make it happen. But that's, look, it is, it's fine. Um, in order to get those transmogs, 
uh, I'm gonna have to get creative. Um, and today is not the day, but we'll, we'll do it later. We'll get there. Stabby stab. Is fear broke? No! Get a frost enchant, a crappy two hand haste weapon. It'll be fast enough? Okay. Alrighty. So, crappy or, um, 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 heirloom? Because heirlooms are free. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not free, but I've already got them. So, I don't have to, like, find them again. Heirlooms have haste. Do you, like, which, hang on. I might have to upgrade one, though, because I think the, the sword I was using is, it's up, it's only, like, yeah, upgrade level zero out of five. Like, it's a, it's a shitty one. Um, but let me go, like, all specs. What do we got? So that's a two-hand axe with crit. Uh, one hand mace. One hand. One hand. One. Two hand haste sword. There you go. So reforged true silver champion. Uh, but it's zero of five, which means, um, the haste is probably gonna be pretty low. Um, any sword that can take that enchant that has haste. Oh, uh, heirlooms tend to not- can't you do only like low level uh, enchants on heirlooms? Or something? I never enchant my heirlooms so I can't remember, but... Once you burn the boss down 1%, amount of damage is irrelevant, just needs to frost your face in 30 hits a rake. Yes. So <laughs> not every boss is the same. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So you need 20 hits. I think it's 20. Uh, 20 hits from- of- of the type frost, um, to get it to freeze. And then you need the 30 melee hits in 30 seconds to, to kill it. Um, in Back when it was current, back when it was current, it required a crap load more, like a lot more uh, hits and um, and uh, and all that kind of stuff, obviously. Because, you know, you had a whole bloody raid team, a whole 40-man raid team, might I add. But you couldn't get it down to 1% before he froze. The whole idea was you wanted to freeze him as quickly as possible and then break him. And when he shattered, he shattered into little mini globs. Each of those mini globs represented 5% health. They all exploded out and then they started moving into the middle. And when they got to the middle, however many of them got to the middle, he reformed with that percentage of health. If he shattered when he was under 5% health, he died. Which is why he dies when he shatters at one health. Uh, Crusade does basically build up into lust when spending HP. Ah, uh, not haste, frost, sorry for the enchant. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, understood. Yeah. Enchant them with whatever so long as they meet eye level requirements. Oh, yeah, ah. Nice. Reformed. Yeah, this is ring bells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how it worked. It's kind of cool, hey? Do not like being slowed. Glad I got at least one thing from Twin Amps. They all, both of them, both individuals have a completely separate loot table. Uh, but they are one boss. They share health pool, but not a loot table. Aww. You Thank you, Jack. Weak. I am not weak. Shut up, voices. I sold that monster. Yeah. That's alright. I'm just gonna have to try not to sell the uh, Ghost Iron Dragon Ling now. Because I know that that one definitely does help. I got close. I got close, just not quite there. I love the squishy. Says, Why can't they just be positive ones? Exactly, Sarah. Like, why can they not just be positive? Agreed. Hey, also, how are you going? Welcome back. Good lord. Would you like some yellow Karaji resonating crystal with your drops? Far out. One bloody, one pack, four yellow crystals. 
Enchant weapon, death thrust, level 50 or below weapon. That's item level 34, so that should work. It's a 3.6 speed and it's got 17 haste on it. Enchant it then upgrade it. It probably drop it probably won't let you upgrade it. Um you do you do up so once you create an item it sits in your bags, but then you upgrade the spell, like you upgrade the actual heirloom in your collection, not the item individually. So I'd say it'd just stay at whatever it was when you made it. Um it doesn't let you up it, yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Two blue ones from that pack. Question, but there's haste food too, isn't there? Yes, there is. And that was one of the suggestions is just grab any haste buff that you can find. But I was like, oh, I don't want to spend that much gold. <laughs> but I can absolutely do that. I just, I don't know how many kills it's going to take me before I get everything from the boss, you know? Oh, I just got a leather BOE. Won't help this turn. But it'll definitely help the leather ones. You had one give it a Libby tune where it's sub high level 50 at max upgrade level, then mail it to super high level soon. Should force the upgrade, right? Not if it's got the enchant. Just you can't break it. If the enchant can't be on there, either the item won't upgrade or the enchant will disappear. Your choice. Like <laughs> one of one of those two things will happen. You can't break the system. I got a red one. That's boring. No, it's not. It's code. That's how it works. Uh, Melody, Doop, and Draz, congratulations to you on your bonus ship. We're not doing another battle because I'm already over time and I just want to finish the raid <laughs> and then go to bed because I have a dentist appointment in the morning and I'm very, very stressed. Uh, and I'm anxious and I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Uh, two cog sockets engineers can make. Each gives plus 12 haste and really easy to make. Don't know if that helps and, you know, bonus haste. I'm not sure if I can make those on my engineer. Um, but maybe? I don't know. Excuse me! Look, I'm trying to hit ya! Stop it! Stop it. Usually there's a chest in here somewhere. There we go. Someone goes, well, me too. Me too. I'm uh, I'm really not looking forward to this one. Um, I've had an appointment with this dentist before and it was um, just really, really bad. Um, I, I don't want to... The word trauma gets thrown around a lot, um, but it was, it was really, really, really bad. Um, I am... I have massive phobia with dentistry. Um, and so when I go to my usual dentist, I get like gas, which helps like immensely. I still get really nervous, but it's almost like I get nervous, but my body's just like, nah. Um, <laughs> uh, but this, this place doesn't have gas, uh, and he refused to give me any numbing agents before he, ooh, oh, it's a trinket. God damn it. Um, he refused to give me any numbing stuff before going in to pull out the the current because there was a root canal in there already but it failed so they had to take it out and replace it um and he refused to give me any painkillers beforehand like to numb it uh and saying that um he needs me to be able to feel it so i can tell him if he's getting too close to the edge of the tooth like and i was like what i can't tell you anything you've got shit in my mouth um, and then, so when he was working, it was getting just pain and pain and pain and pain and pain. And I like, there's no nerve in the tooth, but it was heat, the heat of the drill drilling through my literal tooth that I could feel in my gums. And I was essentially screaming before he finally stopped and said, okay, I'll give you that painkiller now. Um, and it was really, really not good. Uh, and so... Yeah, um, that's I'm where not I'm a paladin. Uh... going to get my stuff done tomorrow, so I'm very not 
at all calm about it. Um, so yeah, I just, I wanted to just get it over and done with and be done and never have to go back again. Um, I know that it's like, especially with medical professional type stuff, um, it's really not a good idea to get a procedure half done by one person and then finished off by another one. It can cause so many issues, which is why I didn't do that. Uh, before anyone says, why don't you just go somewhere else? That Like, there's a very good reason for it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this just being done and then never, ever having to go back there again. Um, I'm sure his work is phenomenal. Um, but, like, you know, having a full-on, full-blown panic attack where I'm hyperventilating and about to pass out and all that kind of stuff and him being condescending and treating me like a five-year-old didn't help. But, whatever. Um... He was, I was given a referral to him in particular because of the complexity of the particular treatment that I needed. Uh, and my usual dentist, who is amazing and phenomenal and wonderful and fantastic, uh, says she swears by this particular dentist and sends, like, sends him so many referrals because of the, the quality of the work he does. Uh, and so when I go back to see her, I'm going to be telling her about my experience. Um, and just to say, like, it's all well and good, but potentially maybe don't send people like me. To, um... I don't like it. Uh, okay, I can't do either of those. Hello, champion. But I can rest well. Cool. So Is I've picked all to... those up, and that's that's the run done. I'm at 30 out of 80 now. I was at 25, so that's good. That's an upgrade. That's that's more more transmog get. Um, and I'm gonna grab my new data and stick it in. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, but my next lowest dungeon is still on the Paladin, and it's Pit of Sauron. So, yay. Good. Wonderful. But I'm not doing it today. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Do you guess? Oh, the, oh, it has changed. Like, I, I don't think I would have been able to get the vast majority of my dentistry done if it weren't for the gas. I, I'm not even kidding. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, my, my phobia of dentistry and stuff is to the point where uh, my doctor actually prescribed me a Valium before one of my previous appointments, before I found this place. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not good. I'm really not good with, um, with all this stuff. Uh, which is why I just, I want to get it done. I want to get done. The, the surgery's not like, I'm, I'm nervous about the surgery because I'm going under, like it's general anesthesia, I go into a hospital, I get a thing stuck in my hand and I get completely knocked out and then I wake up in recovery and I have stitches in my mouth and all this kind of stuff, like it's, but at least I'm asleep for it. I don't, there's n like, I don't even remember opening my mouth for the dentist, <laughs> like there's, there's nothing. I'm, I'm out before any of that happens. Uh, and then the gas, they usually put me on it and wait. They give me a good, like, five minutes to really get it going uh, before they even start looking at what they're going to be doing that day, which is, um, she's so good. My, my dentist is just so amazing and I adore her and she's great. Um, so it always makes me nervous when I'm going with, uh, with new medical professionals. Um, uh, good night, Dan. Rest well. We'll see you next time. And thank you again for the biddies. I don't ask the dentist or anything. They shouldn't be able to tell if they're close to the edge of the tooth. Yeah, but I mean, you know, every person is different, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but yeah, look, I um Yeah, I don't know. It just it just wasn't at all a pleasant experience. At all. Yeah, that, thank you. I, I appreciate that. It was yeah. Um and so that's where I'm going tomorrow morning. Um so uh, last time I ended up going, I came home and it was, it was a Monday as well. And I did end up streaming that day, but I think I came home and I just slept all day and then, um, and then kind of woke up and streamed because it was the only way I could really deal with everything that was going. I just had to sleep. I just couldn't, I couldn't handle, I had to pass out. Um, I'm thinking tomorrow because it's so early, I'm going to catch uh, public transport in like public transport has kicked off again here, which is really good. So it is, and it's like, right in inside the CBD. So I'm going to catch the bus there and I think I'm going to walk home 
because I think the physical activity will hopefully burn off some of the adrenaline and the whole fight or flight and, and all that kind of, like the stress, the, the cortisol, um, and just sort of at least burn some of it off, even if it means I have to pass out again when I get home. Um, hopefully the exercise will help, you know? Um, and maybe maybe grab some sushi or something. Just something nice and, and comforty and all that kind of stuff, you know? Treat, treat myself with kindness. Because um, it's a shit time. It's a shit time. Expensive day of frosting here. I do. I have the frost thingy, so that's fine. That's a matter of super important. It is. It is. Um, but like, if you're not, if you don't know how to deal with, like, you know, then he was like, you know, just breathe, just breathe. And I'm like, I literally cannot breathe. I am hyperventilating. Do you understand what hyperventilation is? And he just, he, he didn't stop. He just kept going, just saying, just breathe, just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. Literally that frequently. And I'm like. Honestly, if you have to say it five times in a row, maybe stop to see if your patient is, you know, like not dying. Oh, fuck. Anyway, um, yeah, look, I'm... Despite all that, I'm, I'm really trying to go into this with as positive a mindset as I can. Um, because I know that if I work myself up and get really upset about it and, and prepare myself for it to be absolutely horrible, then it's going to be absolutely horrible. Um, so I'm just trying to, uh, like... Just deep breaths and you know I'm gonna go in there it's gonna be one hour um usually this kind of work takes one hour um might, maybe it'll even be quicker um if I just sit still and, and focus on something that isn't happening um and just kind of just get through it just just get through it and then once it's done it's done and I never have to see him again ever you have to get through it yeah yeah basically non-dentistry stuff Hope it goes well. Me too. Me too. One away from dentists would feel good. I agree. Oh, absolutely. After giving them another fucking thousand dollars. It's fine. <laughs> Dentistry is bloody expensive. Really bloody expensive. Anyway, I'm done. Uh, I need to go and attempt to sleep. Um, <laughs> let me do a... Uh, let me do... I know I've got so many redemptions and I've been really distracted tonight by so much shit going on. So I'm going to refund anything I haven't done. Uh, and we're gonna just hop on in and, uh, hop on in and do the thing. Uh, right. Uh, That's okay. Let's have a look at this. I'm not sure what this is, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> sending happy spreadsheet thoughts. Ah, uh, you'd be safe. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you, Crom. Thank you so much. One wishes your way. Thank you, Lucky. I was a fishing for goop. You are so welcome, Kay, and congratulations again. I'm so proud of you. Look at what you did. Look at what you did. Happy spreadsheet thoughts. I love that. Love that. All right. We're gonna go here. Mm, I like to my channel. You in a paladin? Is it off cooldown? Is what off cooldown? Um. Oh no. I can't. Fun fact. I can't check cooldowns. On sound commands and stuff. Just FYI. Um, alright. So I try to lose a battle against dentists this time. Look, I, I'm probably gonna lose. Um, it's just a matter of whether or not I come away with zero consumables left or if I, I preserve what I can. Um, <laughs> we'll see how we go. Uh, grab your copy paste if you do not have the Fiamma hype emote. Uh, that's okay. Either because you're not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, totally fine. Uh, you can still copy paste the entire message, delete Fiamma hype, and replace it with your favorite happy, happy celebratory emotes. Um, 
if you want me to make if you want to make me feel better about myself and be less stressed, uh, you should type in exclamation socials and click the link and then go find my Instagram and follow it. Yeah, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding. Please do follow me on Instagram, but also I'm I'm kidding about guilting you into it. That's not at all my intention. Um, after any mouth pain, I won't have any mouth pain because there's no nerve in the tooth left. It's more anxiety and hyperventilation and the whole meltdown thing. Uh, I'm gonna see you for 9.2 story and raid on Wednesday and then Ashran on Friday. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you then. Well, love. Bye.